You're locked on to the EYT work. And good evening and welcome to uh, Union High School tonight. It is uh, Carly Tire High School football here on the EYT Media Network as Countersport visits uh, Union AC Valley. The Falcon Knights and the Falcons uh, get set to do battle here this evening. Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, along with uh, Dustin Kiefer, uh, Tyler Oaks here as well as he's out there on the camera. Always doing a fantastic job, and we're in the Carly Tire pregame show, Bob. Uh, I'll tell you what, tonight weather holding off now. It was really wet throughout today. We'll see how that affects the field as the game goes on. Uh, But uh, so far holding off for this evening, and we should have a good one here between these two. Well, we should, Mike. And, of course, it just seems like this season started a couple weeks ago. But, uh, look, I've been sitting beside you since August. Where has the time gone? Uh, Obviously, the regular season comes to an end tonight. Playoffs begin next week for a lot of these teams. And, uh, of course, more news about that uh, over the course of the weekend. Mike Kilroy, he's going to keep you in the loop, let you know what's going on. As soon as we know, you'll know. But tonight – Big game at hand between these two schools. Obviously, Union AC Valley looking to rebound from what was a disappointing loss to Red Bank Valley last week, a game which really was much closer than what the final score indicated. Yep, it certainly did. It was pretty close throughout until that second half. Uh, But uh, tonight we're going to wrap up the regular season, and we'll take our first time out. We're going to come back out here to Union High School, and (laughs) excuse me, we'll go inside the game. As uh, we'll have that for you, brought to you by All Seasons Temporaries. We'll take a break. Coming back, Countersport here at Union AC Valley. We're in Rymersburg tonight. It's Carly Tire High School Football on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply. And yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta. And yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave. You've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. (laughs) I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. Dubrook, a proud member of the M&B Group, is the right choice for your next concrete project. Specializing in decorative concrete products, precast concrete products, Gravel and stone delivery. Dubrook has what you need to complete your residential or commercial project. With locations in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, and Evans City. Dubrook is ready to offer their professional help as your ready mix supplier. Call 1 844 Dubrook today. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy-duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zockerel Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer, and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockerel Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockerelMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right, and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockerel Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64, Interstate 80 in Clarion. You're locked on to the EYT Media Network. 
fan back here at uh, Veduna Stadium here at Rymersburg High School. Or Rymersburg High School. Union High School. We're in Rymersburg. That's where we're at. Yeah, 1950s. We're going back. People are going, what happened? <laughs> at your age, they're used to it. <laughs> they are. It's uh, Carly Tire pregame show here on the EYT Media Network. Glad you can be with us here tonight. Great one here between Counter Sport Union AC Valley this evening. And we're going inside the game brought to you by uh, All Seasons Temporaries. We saw Counter Sport a little bit earlier. Had a tough go against uh, Red Bank Valley. Uh, but this is a team they predominantly like to run. We saw them throw more in that game against Red Bank. Kind of got out of their system. And I think that really uh, affected them. Well, it did. And, again, they, they tried to do something a little different, tried to catch people off guard. I think if my memory uh, sets me uh, correctly here, Mike, it was something like 10 or 11 passes to start out. And I think going in, I always talk about hidden numbers. The hidden number would, would be in order for them to come away with a win against Red Bank, they need to throw 10 or less. Well, they threw 10, 11 passes through the opening two quarters of play. That's not their M.O. That is just not. If they're throwing like that, that's bad news. That puts them in a position. They're just not comfortable in doing so. You know, sometimes uh, when you're running team, you are a running team. There's, that's not a bad thing. When you go out of your comfort zone, you know, typically uh, the end result is not where you want to be. And, of course, uh, Union AC Valley last week, a tough loss to Red Bank Valley right here. But it was a close game, nip and tuck, uh, for the most part, right through uh, right through that third quarter. And uh, this is a team, too, uh, they do like to run the ball a lot. They've got some pretty good talent in the backfield, but they can throw when they need to as well. Well, they can, and, uh, of course, they're a physical team. And I think really that's what sets them apart from a lot of the teams in the entire district. Mike, they just love to play defense. They're made up of a lot of hard hitters and guys who contribute. And, uh, you know, you have to remember how many times they're able to keep your Red Bank out of the end zone deep in, in their own territory. And uh, it's it's a pretty impressive feat whenever you think about it. And, again, uh, they were put in some difficult positions because of having to play that field position battle. Lost it really throughout uh, probably 80%, 90% of the ball game, but still able to hang in there, keep it very close. And, again, going inside the game brought to you by All Seasons Temporaries. And we're going to take another time out. We'll come back. We'll go around District 9. We'll do the governor's keys coming up a little bit later on. We'll check field conditions, weather, all that. It's coming up. Tonight, it's Countersport here at Union AC Valley. We are in Rymersburg at Union High School, Veduna Stadium. And you're listening to Carly Tire High School Football. It's right here on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. He's on the 30, he's on the 20, he's on the 10, it's a touchdown! There's nothing like football. <clears throat> the lights, the cheers of the crowd, and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. <clears throat> Come to a game. Support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank. A better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com. Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. Beverage Air, a leading manufacturer of refrigeration equipment for over 75 years, is currently hiring for immediate openings in our Brookville facility. For more information or to apply, visit beverageair.com forward slash careers. 
This is Corey. He made two big mistakes. His first mistake was not going to Laurel Eye Clinic to have bladeless LASIK. His second mistake was trying to pet what he thought was his cat without wearing his glasses. Don't be like Corey. Call Laurel Eye Clinic. This is the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at uh, Maduna Stadium, Union High School here in Ramersburg, Pennsylvania. It is the EYT Media Network, and it is the Carly Tire High School football game of the week counter sport here at uh, Union AC Valley. Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, Dustin Kiefer, and out there is Tyler Oaks on the camera. Time to go around District 9, brought to you by River Hill Automotive. And uh, around the district here this evening, uh, games going on. Uh, Central Clarion County is at Clearfield tonight. Brookville is at Brockway. Red Bank at Punxsutawney Dubois, or Dubois, as Bob says, at Carn City. Keystone is at Monotaw. Cameron County is at Bucktail. Keystone, or uh, we have Kane at Port Allegheny. St. Mary's is at Tyrone. Phillipsburg Osceola is at Ridgeway. West Branch is at uh, Kerwinsville. And Otto Eldred visits uh, Conoquinesk Valley. Uh, those are the District 9 games, and those scores will be rolling along on D9Sports.com tonight. You can always go there. You don't have to text us. Just go to D9Sports.com. Those scores will be rolling in as you the know, night goes on. You know, Mike, what I enjoy about uh, all the games taking place this season, or this uh, tonight, anyways, they really, a lot of them are going to affect, obviously, the seeding for next week. So many times we go in, and the final game of the season, ah, it's almost like putting in time for a lot of these schools. A lot of them, however, can control their own destiny a little bit better, I should say, uh, help themselves out by getting a better seed with a win. So obviously winning certainly important, not just to pick up another win, but certainly to control your own destiny as far as the final seeding for these playoff games go. And you look at the 2A seeds out of uh, the D9 league so far, the top four look like Carn City, Ridgeway, Brookville, Central Clarion. Uh, Central Clarion sneaks in there at 4-4. Four and four. Going to have a, a tough go tonight. Rid uh, Clearfield is very good. Uh, I, you know, Central Clarion can go over there. I'll tell you what, if they can hang in that one, that would be pretty impressive. So we'll see what happens tonight. Uh, looking at uh, single A, of course, Red Bank Valley, Smithport, Union AC Valley, Keystone, Kerwinsville as of right now. But, again, things could change tonight, Governor. You never know. You're exactly right. The reason we play them, and, and, again, that's one of the reasons why we're here tonight, certainly to see this one. The big one you're waiting for, too, that – Class AAA title that'll be coming up uh, next weekend. St. Mary's in Clearfield. That's the one you've been looking for. Uh, absolutely. And of course, that Clearfield program is just year in, year out, one of the most successful programs in all of District 9. I don't think anybody out there can debate that statement. Well, that again, uh, looking at District 9, brought to you by River Hill Automotive. And the weather forecast is sponsored by J&J &J Feeds and Needs and Trailer Sales. Weather tonight, cloudy, chance of rain at times, low of 45 degrees. Uh, about a 50% chance. I was looking at the chances. You can see those clouds kind of thickening up uh, as we go through the night. Tyler out there going, yeah, bring on the rain, baby. He's got the umbrella going over top of the camera. He's all ready to go. You can see great shot there as he looks off into the distance. You can see where the clouds and the sun and then you know, Dustin's house. Yeah, is over in that neck of the woods. Interestingly enough, Tyler sent me a text today, and he said, you know, I really am an Eddie, Eddie uh, Murray, I love a rainy night kind of guy so uh, or Eddie, Eddie Rabbit I guess yep. was it Eddie Rabbit yeah yep. Eddie Rabbit he's, he said I love a rainy night I think he's going to get his wish maybe tonight <laughs> we'll have to play it for him at some point Eddie Murray that was a field goal kicker what's wrong with that? <laughs> thinking football right <laughs> well hey it all works right it does and we're it old does. so people just go man they're talking crazy again and, and half the audience went who's Eddie Rabbit yeah exactly we, we are showing our age. So. <laughs> field conditions brought to you by Cousin Basil Restaurant and looking at the field conditions good uh, the teams are out there warming up uh, a lot of rain today, but uh, we'll probably see it get tore up a little bit tonight as the game goes on. i got to say, the grounds crew has done an amazing job. <laughs> the, the numbers, the, you, we can still see what's what on the football field. We can now, and, of course, as the game unfolds, who knows. But uh, I have to say, you know, we're almost into November. The field couldn't look any better. There's no yep. question about that. Yeah, Tyler getting a great shot of the field there, and you see uh, in real good shape. I mean, uh, they've done a nice job. Uh, so we'll take another time on. We're going to come back out here to uh, Vaduna Stadium here at Union High School in Rymersburg. <clears throat> As Countersport here against, I'm just making sure I enunciate, get it out there, because if not, I'll mess up. Uh, as uh, we get set for this one, County is here tonight against Union AC Valley. We'll take the time out, and you are watching Carly Tire High School football. It's live right here on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com.
Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales on Route 66 in Shippenville is your one-stop trailer shop for all things trailers. J&J stocks over 70 trailers at a time of all shapes and sizes, including enclosed cargoes, equipment haulers, utility trailers, tilt trailers, and dump trailers. Reputable brands include CarMate, Sport Haven, PJ, Liberty, and Wells Cargo. If you are looking for the most dependable trailers on the market, backed by the industry's best warranty, choose J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales. Trailers that work for a living. We're here, making it safer to save today. As we all adjust to the new normal, shopping for furniture is a little different. That's why our team wears masks and goes the extra mile while delivering in your home. It's why our website is so informative, enabling you to buy online or by phone. That's why we limit shoppers and offer special hours for our at-risk neighbors, first responders, and healthcare professionals. Your waiting is over. Let us help you save safely today. Our community needs its local businesses. Let's put unity back into the community. Let's all unite to support local business. Butler Health System, proudly standing with our local businesses. Your choice matters. When the time comes, choose local. Let's all unite to support them and the other local businesses in your community. It's important because when local businesses thrive, communities thrive. Red Bank Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer and Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. You're locked on to the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at uh, Venuna Stadium. Getting set to go here tonight. We're in the Carly Tire pregame show, part of uh, the uh, Carly Tire High School Football Game of the Week. It's Countersport here at Union AC Valley. And uh, Tyler panning the crowd there, and we see folks continuing to filter in here at Union AC Valley at Union High School. And, Bob, time for the... Governor's Keys to the game, and those Governor's Keys are always brought to you by Kale's Kitchens. This is something that the entire district, most people around western Pennsylvania, look forward to. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the Governor. Well, kinds of pressure on me now. <laughs> well, Mike, it's real simple. Uh, for counter sport, I think it's important. you got to control that line of scrimmage. It all begins with controlling the line of scrimmage. And, you know, that goes to our second key, which is run, run, and run some more. We talked about it briefly at the top of the pregame show against Red Bank Valley. They came out and decided to pass a little bit more. That's not their MO. You know, they have success on the ground. They're much more comfortable running on the ground. I think, again, you must run effectively in order to come away with the win tonight. You have to avoid turnovers, too. That's huge. And, of course, Red Bank Valley against County able to capitalize on those turnovers. Uh, but certainly the other key is, Mike, you are going to have to pass. But pass out of necessity only. Obviously, field conditions will be a bit of a factor. It will disrupt the timing. And, again, when you don't do that all the time, it just makes it that much more of a challenge for you. Now, for Union AC Valley, big key is stop the run. You stop the run, you're going to be in great shape. You want to get County into these third and long situations, which will then force them to have to pass. And, again, that's just going to fall right in your wheel well, right where, right where you want them. Now, you also want to play that field position game. Last week, unfortunately for Union AC Valley, they were in the difficult spot of having to play deep in their territory. So they want to return the favor this week to a, a different opponent. And, finally, you want to force some turnovers. you got to get points off those turnovers as well. This Union team is outstanding. Union AC Valley team, Mike, is really outstanding at getting points off of turnovers. They want to continue that trend tonight. If they can do all those things, they'll come away with a win. There you go, Governor's Keys. And brought to you again by Kale's Kitchens. And you can look down as the bands are getting ready. We'll have the anthem coming up here momentarily with our pregame festivities. And... Uh, Rolling out the red carpet, and we do want to thank uh, McMillan's Carpet Outlet for that. 
Scott Kendall and all the folks here at Union High School. Fantastic job as always. Really got to thank to Jamie Seifert, their, yep. their IT guy, yep. because uh, obviously uh, without him, a lot of the things that make our life a lot easier just simply can't happen. Nope. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, we like to show up, but it's still we've got to rely on all these support personnel and Jamie certainly a driving force and getting us on the air tonight. Yep, very much was. And uh, so, uh, you know, you just we, we really thank all of the ADs too. We're here at the last final game of the regular season. But as we've been to all the different places that we go, uh, boy, they just they really do uh, make sure whatever we need that, you know, we're taken care of and all of those types of things. And, you know, they, they could very easily look at us and go, look, old guys, get out of here. We're, we're done. And sometimes they feel like it, but they still put up with us. I, th I think, they you do. know, we are so fortunate, again, that uh, everybody is so accommodating. And we enjoy bringing these games. I, I get uh, stopped a number of times at work. And, of course, any time I'm, I'm out in the public, someone knows who I am. Hey, you know, saw that game last week. Today, actually, whenever uh, one of our viewers found out that we would not be doing a Red Bank game, said, you're kidding I had plans tonight, <laughs> wet night. I was going to curl up on a couch. I was going to watch you guys. You mean I've actually got to go to the game? So I said, "Well, you know, it's a break. You know, we we got to we can spread only be around, in one place so. at a time." Yeah. So, and of course, with the playoffs coming up, we'll be as many places as we can as well. We have the Union and AC Valley bands together out there on the football field as they will uh, present the national anthem here coming up momentarily here at Baduna Stadium. Just about uh, sunset. And why don't we take a really quick time out? We're going to come back out here, and we'll wrap things up of the Carly Tire pregame show. It is Countersport here at Union AC Valley, and you're watching us on the Carly Tire uh, Game of the Week on ExploreClarionD9Sports.com. One of the biggest risks to your future could be running out of money during a longer-than-expected retirement. Many people have not yet taken the time to determine if they will have enough assets to last throughout retirement. Our Retirement Income Evaluator can help you develop a roadmap and actual recommendations. To learn more, stop by our office located at 162 South 2nd Avenue in Clarion. Give us a call at 2223-9990 or visit JennyClarion.com. Jenny Montgomery Scott, LLC, member NYSE, FINRA, and SIPC. Whether it's your ATV, your camper, plenty of room, keep it coming, your boat, keep dumping water, me boy, or whatever your big kid toy may be, make sure you protect it. Carrier Insurance Agency will help establish a policy to protect your ATV, camper, boat, motorcycle, or any auto insurance coverage you may need. Receive your free quote at Carrier Insurance Agency in front of Tractor Supply and Clarion or CarrierInsuranceCares.com. This is the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at Beduna Stadium. In the Carly Tire pregame show, Carly Tire High School football here on the uh, EYT Media Network. Explore Clarion and uh, D9Sports.com. Had a good volleyball match last night. Throw that in there. Clarion area winner. Cranberry had won earlier in the week. We had them. Next week we're going to be at Keystone High School. That double A uh, match with uh, Carn City and Keystone next week. So the football playoffs then kick off the following week. Bob, it's like we're in the thick of things. We are. And, of course, the challenging <coughs> part to all this is you just never know where you're going to be. Nope. You don't know who you're going to see. You don't know where you're going to be. Um, it, it is a big challenge. And, of course, a lot of what goes on behind the scenes, I explain to people, there's so much more the IT part. Everything has to fall in place. There's a number of variables that go into our decision-making process. There are places we'd love to be, but we just can't for one reason or another. And, of course, with the playoffs coming up, too, I know, you know District 9 starting to look at different sites and things like that, and I know that's always a challenge, too. And, of course, with the weather going to be changing and all of those types of things, I do hope we get the Brockway one. So, boy, that they've really done a fantastic job up there. Yeah, certainly enjoy the facility. If I was a betting man, I would bet there's a high probability we'll spend some time there. Of course, a lot's going to depend, too, on the success that Brockway has, whether or not they get in the playoffs, yep. obviously in the neutral sites, all that good kind of stuff. But that's for guys that uh, have titles uh, and positions of importance, not me. Well, the teams are on the football field. And we'll see if they do the ceremonial coin toss before, which is Bob's favorite part of the ball game. And I absolute cringe. I'm telling you, they need to they need to take care of this. Bob, you can say that, but when we're in the car going to games, you're like, you know, I really enjoy that. Well, first off, we haven't <laughs> been in the car to, in, a, in, a, in, in a game a situation or driving in a car to go to a game in a coon's age. It's been a while. It's but your like driving starting to get yeah, your driving's not good. It, it just it's getting worse. Well, so I'm old. <laughs> it is what it is. Why lock? People actually probably believe as we go back and forth, they're like, man, they, they don't like each other. 34 years is like 34 years of being married or something. 
just, they just, just about, yell at each other. Just about it's funny because we'll be involved sometimes <clears> as we're uh, laying out the groundwork for these games. We're involved in group text, and oftentimes and Dustin's in the same position. He literally will make a statement that either you and I will immediately already have been in the process of yeah. sending, and it'll go out, hey, glad to see we're all on the same page. So, Well, to please you, Bob, they're going to do that ceremony. Boy, point I'm, toss. And I'm just so thankful that this is taking place. And here we go as the players come across the field. And I'm going to be smart this time. I'm going to use the video camera because that's what we got it for, right? It is uh, Reuter along with Kelly. Also uh, Williams. And number 27 over there is Colby for Cowdy for uh, the Union AC Valley Falcon Knights. What do we got right across the board? We got Hardy. We have uh, Rainey followed by... And I believe that's uh, Verostic. He's wearing 42, I believe. That We thought either 24 or 42. That's going to be Verostic. And then number 59 is uh, Carter Turwin. So there you go. See, using the tools that I have. It's your advancing age. you got to use whatever's available. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I, I'm even thinking about one of those little scooter things. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean thinking? You already have one. Don't two. pull every. Are you kidding? As they go through formalities here if anything just drag them out real quick say all right let's let's do this i'm leaning over to you boom that's the way it is union ac valley won the toss they will defer to the second half so county will get it so we got the falcons taking on the falcon knights we got some birds knights and all kinds of stuff doing battle on the field tonight so you're thinking a a creature of flight will win this what? game what do you think, like a falcon? Give me, give me a good falcon sound. I can't do that. You I don't. Could I too. couldn't do justice. You, I think to that you majestic could. animal. I, That's where that we need Andrew Kiefer. He'd give it a try. He'd be like, <laughs> "Here's our anthem coming up." Yes, anyone that intends tonight, who is a veteran of the United States military or an active member of the United States military, to please stand now. So we hear Union and everyone in attendance tonight to say thank you to your service to our country. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a great round of applause for these men and women who have given us the freedom to attend this athletic event this evening. You are the true heroes. Here at Union, we are blessed to have the VFW and American Legion that are extremely supportive of our school and our students. Tonight, we're joined by members of the VFW Post 7132 and the American Legion Post 454 of Reimersburg, who will raise the flag to our nation during the national anthem. Now, would everyone please stand, gentlemen, remove your caps for the playing of the national anthem and our honored guests, followed by the Allegheny Clarion Valley and Union Alma Mater. There you go, the National Anthem, the combined bands of uh, Union and AC Valley. Lisa Hummel, uh, Scott DiTulio, the leaders of both of those bands, two fantastic folks. Been longtime friends with those folks. They won't admit it's, it, probably. It's Dr. But. Scott now, isn't it? Uh-huh, yep. Oh, Dr. Scott. Scotty. <laughs> All right. So we'll have Countersport take the ball first. Tyler out there, he looks pretty good. He's not wet yet. And, of course, Dustin puts up the, the card so we can't see him. That's probably better. 
Falcon Knights come on. They will be kicking off here. Again, we want to thank McMillan's Carpet Outfit for uh, our rolling out the red carpet. Again, thanks to everyone here at uh, Union High School. Kickoff is brought to you by Universal Forest Products. They're also a great new sponsor on our uh, replays. Uh, UFP Products, Universal Forest Products will be with us for those, and we do thank them for that sponsorship. Back deep for the Falcons of Countersport. It'll be uh, Gavin Ayers. And I believe on the far side, that's Colby over there. I'd be a little surprised if we see a real deep kick. Maybe something on the intermediate end or range. So the Falcon Knights get set to kick it off. Reese picking up here. I may have to actually put my jacket on. Oh, you're as fine. As Dustin elects to keep the window <laughs> wide open. Here's the kickoff. Going to be taken by Ayers. He bobbles it, picks it back up at about the 17, back to the 20, 25, up to the 30. And he'll get out near the 35-yard line. Nice return by Ayers. But a little bit of yellow laundry out there, Mike. The flag yep. thrown at the 40. Penalties brought to you by Red Bank Chevrolet. The first quarter sponsor is Clarion Forest VNA. Officials will talk with each other. General is the rule. You will see it usually on the return team, and it is. As they're going to march this back. So the initial field position would have been to 35-yard line. Back them up to the 25, so that's where they will take over their first possession. Ayers is the quarterback. They're going to set up in the I formation. Ayers takes the snap, hands that off. Right up the gut, not a whole lot there. Getting up from underneath the pile, that was uh, Dylan Kelly getting the run that time. A yeah, nice, safe, uh, high percentage run to open up the series. About a yard. Second down here. Uh, you know, we, we expected, obviously, Cowdy would come out and run and, and again, want to control that line of scrimmage. Those are two big keys to victory for them tonight. And you took blitz that time. Hand off over the left side. This time, nothing doing there. And drop for a loss this time back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe a loss. Make it a loss of two. And that actually will be Kelly again. So Kelly got the carry twice in a row. Pushes him back. Third and 11 now. Third and long is sponsored by Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Yeah, this is the other part of my key. You know, I felt that it can't be in these third and long situations. And, you know, very first series, third and long. And it really limits your play selection, what you can do. And, of course, the wet field is going to compound that a little bit. Working out of the shotgun here will be Ayers. He's going to have to go to the air this time. Drops back, looks to the left side, flings that ball downfield. It sails on him, and it is almost intercepted. Getting his hands on that was Skyler Roxbury down there, but it falls down to the turf. Yeah, nice read there as we take and a first look. Yep, that UFP Parker instant replay. Watch Ayers pass. Sailed on him a bit. And, yeah, there was Roxbury over there to knock it away. Well, he almost was able to intercept it. Punt coming up, Ayers will punt. Good punt. Time. Time. High and taken back at about the 38. Roxbury to the right side. Stiff arm to the 40 and dropped at about the 45-yard line. So that's where the Falcon Knights will take over. Yeah, good field position to start the series here for the Falcon Knights. Obviously looking to capitalize on it. Again, field position was so difficult for them last week. You know, spent... Uh, a large portion of the game deep in our own territory. And, again, you're so limited whenever you don't have the real estate to work with. Ball's at the 45-yard line. And taking a look here. How can I saw Cottersport today? Were they offsides or not? I don't know. But Dittman is at the quarterback position. There's the handoff over the right side and running with it. Is that card on the outside driving to the end zone? And they're going to say he steps out of bounds. Down around the 22-yard uh, line. Ball originally on the 45-yard line. 
About 30 on the on it. Make it about, uh, you said about the 45, about 33. A nice run. So Dittman, again in the shotgun formation. Ball 22-yard line, first and 10, hands that off. And getting the carry again, I believe that was a card. Getting the carry, takes it inside the 20 and down to about the 19-yard line, picks up three, it sets up a second down here in seven. Yeah, card really does a nice job. He lets the line set the blocks up. You know, initially it looked like he'd be lucky to get much past the line of scrimmage. Got a couple of key blocks, got three yards on the carry. Gives him already 36 on the night. Two attempts, not a bad average. Dittman back in the shotgun. They're in the Dubrook red zone already on this drive. Dittman looking to throw, fires the ball, and it is incomplete. Shot that over toward the right side there. Ball's incomplete. Yeah, not a, not a bad look that time. A little bit of pressure on him. He had to throw a little earlier than what he wanted to. The play couldn't really quite set up. It's going to be a it's four down territory type of play. So obviously you can do uh, a lot of different things here, Mike. Certainly want to chip away. I think a little bit at that seven yard margin that you need to to get the first down. Yep, third down and seven. The ball to nineteen. Dittman pitches it back to Card. Here's Card over the left side. Big hole for Card. Busted down close to the ten yard line, and they'll take it inside the ten down to the nine, and that'll be a first and goal. Here for Union AC Valley. Yep, and they moved the chains. Exactly what they needed to do, Mike. And again, that play was designed. It was a good read. I'm not sure if it really was designed to initially get the whole way to the outside, but the blitz was coming. It was a good read either way, and, and certainly a nice play to move the chains. Roxbury and Cooper out to the right, single receiver off to the left side. That is a Ryan Cooper. Ball handed off to Card again, right up the middle, and he walks into the end zone for the Union AC Valley touchdown. Comes at the 8.56 mark here in quarter number one, and the Falcon Knights on the board first. And again, nothing fancy. Here it is. Stop it if you can. If you can't, it's going to get punched in as we see another look here in that UFP Parker replay. Nine-yard run for Card. On for the extra point try. Colton Murray as he lines up. Holds there. Kicks on the way. Kick is no good, though. It's off to the right and a bit low. So 6 nothing. Union AC Valley leads here with 8.56 to go in quarter number one. We'll take a timeout. And you're watching Carly Tire High School Football and Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. This is the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at uh, Veduna Stadium. Union AC Valley up here 6-0. Murray to kick it off. Rolls it down the field, and it'll be picked up by Ayers at the 20, back to the 25, to the 30, and knocked around as he gets up to about the 35-yard line. So about where they had it last time, if it weren't for that penalty that backed him up. Yeah, decent field position. It's a difficult ball to handle in this wet surface. Kind of skips around a little bit. Takes on some moisture, but a nice return there by Ayers. Offense wants to get a little something going here. Did not have much success the opening drive. Clarion Forest VNA first quarter here at Veduna Stadium, 8.48 to go. 6-0. Falcon Knights lead. Ayers works out of the shotgun this time. Twins off to the left. He's going to keep the football. Looks for room over the left side. Gets a bit, and he's going to be dropped. He'll pick up about three, almost four. Yeah, we know Ayers has the ability. He can tuck that football and run, make some things happen. Second down here in seven. And I think if they're going to have success, Mike, he certainly has to do that. 
presents a different wrinkle if you have a quarterback that can run consistently and run effectively, keeps the defense honest. All right, boomer, boomer, boomer. Tight end there. Ayers again. Shotgun formation. He's got the sidecar left. He'll keep it again. Tries to follow a blocker. He'll be hit. Swung down. Drop for a loss on the play. He'll lose about a yard. Sets up a third down here, and it uh, looks like a third down at about eight. Yeah, Carter Turwent with the big play there. Makes a good solo tackle. Picking a little bit of wind up now, the microphone that we have outside the booth. We're yep. hoping that Tyler does not <laughs> blow away. He'll be like Mary Poppins with that big uh, <laughs> umbrella. He'll sing a song as he goes. Ayers out of the shotgun, third down at eight here for the Falcons of Countersport. High snap, pulls it down, then just kind of shuffles it out. The pass is caught, and it's going to be short of the first down marker. See who got up with that. That was. I believe it's Reuter. Yep, it was Reuter, yeah, number 12. Tackle, Logan Reuter with the catch. So they needed eight. It looks like he's going to pick up about seven. You know, I like the call here. Looks like they're going to go for it. I like the call here. Again, you know, it's the last game of the season. Oh, they're, instead, they're going to punt. But, boy, I play this honest. May have a hard count opportunity here. There's the punt back deep. Will be Skyler Roxbury. He's a speedster, too. Ruder, he looked for a second, had protection, then kicks it away. Good punt. Roxbury's going to let it go, and it bounces inside the 10, inside the 5. And does it get in? It does get into the end zone. So we'll come out to the 20 yard line. Here's that UFP Parker replay on that one. Good punt. Here's got a lot of foot into that one. You see, it just keep rolling and rolling it. And then it started dying and just got in. Yeah, 56 yard punt. Pretty decent job. Took his time. And I thought for a split second he was actually <laughs> thinking about tucking it and running with that football. I think he might have had some real estate to work with here on that right side. Dittman's the quarterback. Ready to go. Twins out to the right single receiver on the left side. Dippin takes the snap, hands that football off. I think that's Card over the right side. Busting through. That's a first down across the 30. Dropped out near the 32-yard line. That's a gain of nearly 12. Card is on a mission. Tell you what, he's licking the stamp, putting it on there, and it's first-class delivery. Oh, oh. Mm. getting a little fancy now. But then again, who uses snail mail? You just lost <laughs> half the audience. <laughs> <clears throat> as they do move the chains. So first and 10 from the 32-yard line. Here come the Falcon Knights. Dittman in the shotgun takes the snap. He's going to keep that football, and he's going to go forward. Boy, I thought he was going to be stopped at the backfield, but takes it out to the 36-yard uh, line. That a gain of four. Second down and about six here. Dittman, again, there was pressure coming from Cowdy. He's able to sidestep a little bit. So a nice game by Dittman. Again, card in the backfield. Dittman in the shotgun. That's actually more of a pistol setup is what it is. Ball snap back to him. Dropped it. It's loose. But he's able to get back on top of it very, very wise, very quickly. He'll lose yardage back to the about the 30-yard line. That's a loss of six, but still. Yeah, you know, you're disappointed, obviously, to lose that many yards, but at least you're maintaining possession. So third that, down. That can be an issue um, out of a shotgun formation. Again, the ball <laughs> is wet. As the center, sometimes you have trouble getting as much velocity on as what you'd like to. Third down about 13 is the call as the ball rests back at the 30. Dittman rolls to the right side, looking to throw. Pumps. He's going to have to tuck. He's going to run. He's going to be hit. He'll be dropped. He gets a couple back up to the original uh, start line of, of uh, scrimmage in the series. Right around that 32-yard line. Can bring up a punting situation here for Union AC. Yeah, fourth and about 11. Back deep will be Ayers along with James Colvey. You know, both uh, return guys, obviously, we had the opportunity to see them. They've got pretty decent wheels back there. Chrisman on to punt. 
Good snap. Chrisman gets the punt away. And letting it go there was Colby. He'll let it go out of bounds. Looks like on the far side of the field, right around the 37-yard line. So there we go. Again, decent field position for County. Now had a couple of opportunities here, unable to advance his football at all. Got a little something going there. there Mike, they're trying to establish that ground game. And, again, uh, big deal there is the, the, the big story, anyways, is the controlling the line of scrimmage union has been very effective at doing so. They have been all season. Very top-notch bunch up front. First and 10, the ball right around the 37-yard line. 6-0. Union AC Valley leads. Reuter went in motion. Ayers looks to throw, fires the football, and it's batted down. So we've got a big paw up on that one. Camper's in there. Is, gets his uh, hand up. Here's that UFP Parker replay. See the man go in motion, and then see Camper getting those paws up there to knock her down. That's the third pass attempt here by County. Ayers is one of three for seven yards. Clock stopped here at 442. Yep, it's a Clarion Forest VNA first quarter. All right, let's go. Uh, let's roll Hokey, Hokey, Hokey. Ayers has a rooter in motion. Kept the football. Good. Looks for room over the left side. Here's Ayers to the 40. And Ayers will be stopped on the far side of the field on about the... About the 42-yard line. We'll see where they spot him. It's about a five-yard pickup. Sets up a third down here and uh, roughly five here for the Falcons. A little yeah. longer than that, probably closer to six. It's so tough to try and pick up and convert a first down in this situation. You really want to be, you know, four and a half yards or less. <clears throat> you're really limited, and, of course, you're especially limited because of the pressure that is coming from Union, and which has been consistent throughout the season and certainly taking place once again tonight. Reuter went in motion, trips out to the right side. Here's Ayers in the shotgun for Countersport, third down and uh, about six. Ayers looking to the right side, rolling to the right side, looks deep downfield. He's the ball sailing a bit. He had a man turning inside as he was looking down there. That was Kyle Dunn, the intended receiver. A good coverage downfield here for the Falcon Knights. Yeah, Turwin applying pressure forces that early throw and brings up another fourth down. Yeah, fourth and six. Now you got to wonder, looking back to that last punt, there wasn't a ton of pressure. I think for a split second, Ayers thought about keeping it and running with it. If he does, the, this wide side of the field will be a good side to run to. Ryan Cooper is the deep man. Here's Ayers punt. Oh, they almost got it, too. Ayers was taking his time. Ball's going to bounce out of bounds up at the 30-yard line. So that's where Union AC Valley will have it. They lead 6-0. 3.37 to go here in the first quarter. Glad you could be along with us here on the EYT Media Network. Explore Clarion, explore Jefferson, PA, explore Venango, D9 Sports, and I'll tell you what, too, if you haven't had a chance, check out the stories uh, that Mike Kilroy puts up on the websites. Last night, a great recap of that volleyball match we had. Uh, he'll have uh, coverage tonight of all of the games. This does a fantastic job. After this play, we'll take a quick look at that soccer motor scoreboard. And Chrisman back in there, hands the football off. Camper on the carry. Was that Camper getting the carry that time? It was. So Camper will go forward and pick up about, about three. So seven, second and seven here for the Falcon Knights. Up, oh, Tyler's got his uh, buffalo skin uh, bibs going on out there. Must be getting cold. I can believe that. <clears throat> Chrisman ready to go out of the shotgun. Well, can I say shotgun? But we've got some movement going on. The official comes in. I think he's going to say it's offsides against County, and that's what it is. What you got there for scores, Governor? It is Brockway 7, Brookville 6. That at the 737 mark opening quarter of play. Du Bois, Carn City, still no score in that one. Tied at zero, of course. Cameron County up 8 to nothing over Bucktail. It is Port Allegheny 6, Kane 0. And Ridgeway up 7 to nothing over Phillipsburg, Osceola. 
Back to action here, second down and a couple. Here's the handoff over the right side camper, but a flag gets thrown. And we'll see what it is. He would pick up about a yard is all and see what the penalty is. They, Union AC Valley did uh, benefit from that offsides. Yeah, really got to think there's a hold in that situation, that many guys in a tight area. And they are indicating the hold against Union AC. Saw the camera look up to the sky that time as <laughs> Tyler was trying to get a shot of the stars. And they march this penalty back. <clears throat> So there we go. It is a second down and 11. So they back it up to the 29-yard line. The second down and 11 here for the Falcon Knights. Clock at 2.55. Chrisman looks to fire to the right side. That little screen to the right. And running with that football. Busted it across. 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. And that's Roxbury going into the end zone for the touchdown for the Falcon Knights. That will go 71 yards. And no doubt about that one. Coast to coast. Got to look at this on that UFP Parker replay. There he goes. Reminds me of you running in high school, Governor, with that speed. The only way that it would remind you is that I would be the guy chasing him. Because I wouldn't be running side by side with him. We're going to go for the two here. Here's Chrisman. Looking to the right side. Fires the ball. And it is no good. So, 2.40 to go here in this first quarter. Union AC Valley leads it here by the score of 12 nothing. We'll break. You're watching Carly Tire High School Football on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. IT Media Network. All right, we're set for kickoff here as Union AC Valley back on the board. They lead it here by the score, 12 0. Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, all with you. Here's the kick. Roll down the field. Ayers is going to pick that up at the 20. Comes back to the 25. And up around the 32 yard line, that is where the Falcons of Countersport will have it. 234 is the clock moving here in this Clarion Forest VNA first quarter. Mike, we are very early in the ball game. It's no need to get excited, hit the panic button, but I am going to tell you this Countersport must move the football a little <laughs> bit, if anything, just to change field position. It'd be great, obviously, if they can get some points on the board, you know, while it's just 12 to nothing. But I think they got to switch his field position. And they're somewhat handcuffed again this deep in their own territory. We're around the 32-yard line, first and 10. Here's in the shotgun. Twins on each side. Hands that football off. Getting the carry. I believe it was Kelly that time. Takes it up near the 35-yard line. Uh, we'll see. Was that five? It was. It was five. Kelly. You're on the money, partner. I'm on the money, but I always second guess because Dustin always gives me that look. Uh, he <laughs> likes to make you squirm a little bit. He does. Those young guys. Although he's been around us a long time. Yeah, he's soon falling into that category of not so young. Yeah. He's getting there. Ayers again in the shotgun. Second down here. They picked up about the three there out to the 35-yard line. And off over the left side. Nothing doing that time. And that time it was uh, Kelly getting knocked down for a loss of uh, about two on the play. I'll make it about one. Back to the 34-yard line. So sets up a third down here in about seven, maybe eight. Mike, you had a combination of Colton Murray and Landon Chalmers in on that stop, and it, it was not pretty. I'll tell you what, when you're hit by a Chalmers, one of those Alice's, you know it. Guarantee you're going to feel it tomorrow. <laughs> Ayers in the shotgun, third down and eight. Keeps it over the right side, and he's got a first down for the Falcons as he takes it out across the 40 and up 
to the 42-yard line. That'll be a first down. They're going to move the chains, I, I would suspect. Yep, he's got it. He's closer to the 43-yard line, so a nice run by him. They needed eight, and he's going to gain close to nine. They're looking, they're debating, and, and they may measure this just to make sure. And, again, this is just a formality because while it appears it, and yeah, yeah, he's they wave it. it off. Yeah, he has it. O oftentimes they're doing this, and, again, while it looks <coughs> that way, they want to make sure in case something was painted crooked. So Cowdy with the Allegheny Grill first down, handoff to Kelly over the left side. Kelly, short gain. He'll get about uh, one uh, to close to the 44-yard line. Once again, Colton Murray involved in that tackle. Going to see one more play here, and that should do it. Yep, 28 seconds on the clock. Second down and about eight. Twins out to the left, twins out to the right. Ayer is working out of the shotgun here for the Falcons. Takes the snap, looking to throw. Rolls to the left side. And downfield, he's got a man wide open, but he can't hold on to it. Oh, he had him wide open down there. That, I believe, was Reuter on that left side. And it falls incomplete. That stops the clock with 1.3 seconds to go here in the first. Wow, was he wide open. Yeah, we're going to get one more play in here. So there's 1.3 in the clock. So third down and eight. Ayers in the shotgun, third and eight here for Countersport. Last play of the first quarter, rolling to the left side, standing, firing, and it is incomplete. Threw it high down there. Didn't want, he saw uh, coming over to defend that play, uh, Cooper. So he throws that long. So that's the end of the first quarter. We'll take the timeout. 12 0 Union AC Valley leads Countersport. You're watching us live on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. West Park Rehab Physical Therapy, providing traditional physical therapy plus diagnostic testing to include EMG nerve conduction study and musculoskeletal ultrasounds. Located in Parker, Emlinton and Clarion, UFP Parker LLC is currently hiring for several skill levels, including general labor, assembler and forklift operators. For more information, visit UFPI.com forward slash careers. You're locked on to the EYT Media Network. All right, back here at Veduna Stadium. We go to quarter number two. The second quarter is sponsored by Hager Paving of Strattonville. It's 12-0. Union AC Valley leads. We're setting up for the punt. Airs to punt. High to the left side, and it's going to go out of bounds. It goes out of bounds right around that 30-yard line again. See the official come up and he'll mark it. They're going to say a little bit further. Okay. So good punt by Ayers back to about the 27-yard line, and that is where you will see the Falcon Knights take over. Mike, as we look at that Zocker Motor scoreboard, it is Brockway 7, Brookville 6, Carn City 7, Dubois 0, Cameron County 8, Bucktail 0, Port Allegheny 6, Kane 0. It is Ridgeway 14, Phillipsburg Osceola 0. Well, other scores, still no updates on those. Ready to go here. It is uh, Christman. They're going to run the reverse. Now looking to throw. Firing the ball deep downfield. There's Roxbury. And they just can't hook up with him. Well played. It was Ryan Cooper back there firing downfield on that reverse. Nice cannon. Yeah. Like the look. Love the play call. The UOP Parker replay, you see it. Boy, it was so cl very close. A yeah, nice arm. You know, the end result wasn't what you want, but that's okay because you got playoffs coming up, something you can go back to. Trips off to the left, single receiver to the right. That's Roxbury again over there. Chris Middle work out of the shotgun formation. Second down and 10. Here's a handoff. Right up the gut. And that's Card right across the 35 and up. I'll tell you what, he's right there at that marker. 
Would be a gain of 10. He's going to get it. They're going to give it to him. Good run by him. That'll be a gain of about 10 and a half. They're going to move the chains. He's got 77 yards in the ball game thus far, six attempts. And I love it as you looked at that replay, Mike. You could see slowed up a little bit, secured the football first and foremost. Still able to pick up a first down. From the 37-yard line, first and 10. That's a Allegheny Grill first down. Chrisman to the right side. There's Rainey, and it falls incomplete. First we've seen of him as he races down the right side of the field. Yeah, opportunities there, unable to connect on him. 11-01 here, quarter number two. Great to have you with us. 12 to nothing lead. Yeah, final week of the regular season, Bob. Another it, one in the book. And again, does, doesn't seem possible. No. Seems like just a couple of weeks ago we got this underway. Chrisman in the shotgun. This time the trips are out to that left side. And the single receiver out to the right. They're going to hand that to Card. Here's Card weaving his way. Card spins around. He'll have the first down. I think they're going to say his shoulder hit just shot. All right. I thought he was on top of the player, but that's okay. Uh, they'll get nine. They'll give him the 46-yard line. Yeah, we've had the opportunity to see him a couple of different times this season, Mike. And it seems like each ball game he gets more confidence. He, he gets – Appears to be a stronger runner in each of those games. So <clears throat> third down and about one. And running's Chrisman, first down, 45-40. And down in Countersport territory. First down here for the Falcon Knights. Takes it all the way down to the 36-yard line. Give him 18 on that carry. You get pretty impressive. Uh, you know, part of the success of that play is you got to pause a split second, then take off because it freezes the backers. He does so. First and 10, new set of downs from the 36 here for Union AC Valley. And uh, nope, keeping it's Christmas again. Did that bootleg around the right side, inside the 30, down around the 28-yard line. See where they spot him. Nice run. Oh, he picks up more than I thought. They're going to mark him all the way down to about the 27-yard line. Wow. Yeah, and that's one of those. It's a designed really to show the look of a run-pass option almost, but pretty much run all the way. <coughs> Single receiver out to the left. Uh, that's uh, Cooper out there. Twins off to the right side. Hand off there to uh, Camper. Camper to the 20, to the 15. Finally dropped inside the 10-yard line. As Camper takes it down, first and goal into the Dubrook red zone. Union AC Valley threatening again. Looks like right around the eight-yard line. Yeah, Camper now with a total of 20 yards in the ball game. And again, the nice play calling taking place here by Union AC Valley. Mike, they're mixing everything up. They're making the defense scratch the head a little bit. So here we go, second down, or first and goal from the nine-yard line. Ball snap back, hands it to Card. Card over the left side, banging his way inside the five-yard line. And he's down around the three. Give him six yards on the run. Clock moving, eight and a half to go here in this first half. Boy, I'd use that wide side of the field, that left <clears throat> side. I think you got plenty of real estate to work with. Camper and Card are in the backfield. Hand off to Camper. Camper's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Falcon Knights. Three-yard scamper for Camper. And that comes at the 818 mark here in quarter number two. Here's that UFP Parker replay. See him just weaving his way, found a nice big open seam and took it. So a three-yard run. And they will go for two. Or are they going to – yep, they're going to go for two here. Yeah, move the football with the wide side on on that uh, left side – or the wide side on the right, short side on the left. Chrisman. And dumps it. Caught by Card. Fight for that goal line, and he's just not going to get there. Good job. Good job that time, I believe, was that um, – 
Oh, I want to make sure I get it right. That was Colby, I think, that stopped him short. Good job by him. 18-0. Union AC Valley leads here over Cotter Sport uh, with 8.18 to go here in the quarter. We'll take a quick time on. You're watching Carly Tire High School Football Explorer Clary and D9Sports.com. Media Network. All right, Union AC Valley back on the board here. 18 0. They lead Cotter Sports here in the second quarter. Here's the kick. They're just going to squirm it down the field. That's a live ball, and Union's on top of it. We've seen that several times this year. That happened with Red Bank Valley playing County as well. Bulldogs able to take over special teams coming up big here. So and they, Union will be back in business. Yeah, Mike. they will. There you see it. That live ball and getting on top of that was that Cooper. So Cooper on top of that one. Ball sitting at the 41-yard line. The question, is, the question is now how aggressive do you want to be offensively? Well, right now you're up 18 nothing, And you got oh. trips with a big cushion on that far side. Dittman hands it off. Nice. Nope, kept the football, went over the right side. Well, he pulled me. Uh, great uh, fake that time. Took it over the right. Takes it inside the 35 and down near the 32-yard line. That's a gain of, boy, I'll tell you what, about Almost seven or eight. I'll go with the seven. Second down here in about three is what it looks like. Dittman takes the snap, hands it off. Card right up the middle to the 20 yard line, first and 10. But got some laundry on the field, and this one's going to be coming back. Yeah, I think it might be a reason why that lane opened up like that. They're going to say it's a procedure call. Okay. So that's just five yards. Back them up to five. Instead of three, it'll be about eight. And again, the optimist says that just gives you more real estate to work with. And the pessimist, the Dustin is, says that's horrible. <laughs> so it's a second down at about eight here for... The Falcon Knights, the ball back at the 38-yard line after the penalty. 7.29 clock turning here in this uh, Hager paving second quarter. Ball snap back to Dittman, looks to throw, pocket collapsing to the right side. Roxbury catches it, spins around, 10-5, touchdown. Oh, how about that? 38 yards. Very, very pretty, Michael. The timing was there. Nice play. There's that replay. Defender went down. Bam, Roxbury takes it into the end zone. Tell me call this series if you want. Comes at the 7.09 mark. If he wants to. If he wants to call it. Call it. <laughs> so Dittman now comes out. They're going to go for two again. Ball's not back to Dittman, pitches it out to Card, and uh, that time they're going to be all over. The two-point conversion no good, but it is 24-0 in favor of Union AC Valley. 7.09 to go here in the first half. We'll take a timeout. Hey, folks, you're watching Carly Tire High School Football on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com.
You can afford a gorgeous, custom-designed hardwood Kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. At Kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to FactoryDirectKitchens.net. That's FactoryDirectKitchens.net. I'm going to go right to action here as Murray gets set to kick off, rolls it down the field. It's going to be picked up. And uh, running with that football is a Colvy over the right side. Nice return on around the 40 as he's finally knocked down. So 24-0, Union AC Valley leading here against Cowdersport. Mike, unofficially, Cowdy sitting at just 28 yards here in the opening half of play. And, uh, you know, difficult, obviously, to, to get points on the board. They've had their opportunities the field position's not been that bad, but unfortunately they've not been able to change field position all in this yep. game. So, you know, really limited. They've got to get a little something going soon here. They trail 24 to nothing right now. Get a timeout. They're going to, County's going to take the timeout. 6.59 on the clock here. And we'll take a timeout as well. You are watching us live here on Explore Clarion D9 Sports. It is Carly Tire High School Football on Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Best of luck in the playoffs to all our local football teams. From your one-stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at clarionauto.com. Enjoy fabulous fine dining in a casual, elegant atmosphere at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Take in the breathtaking view through the windowed walls or dine on the patio overlooking the always changing Allegheny River. This is the EYT Media Network. All right, after the timeout, 6.59 to go here in the first half. 24 0 Union AC Valley leads. Ayers in the shotgun here for the Falcons of Countersport. Starting from their own 40, he's going to keep the football. Comes over the left side. And that is actually running with the football was Colvy. So Colvy takes the run, and he'll take that football. A few yards, take him a couple. Second down and eight. Yeah, first opportunity for Colvy to run with the football tonight. We know he's got a pretty good set of wheels. We saw him a couple weeks ago. A little surprised they didn't get him involved earlier. Clock continuing to move here in this second quarter. So far, the precipitation has held off. And this one feels still in great condition. All right, you got twins with a tight end. All right, we got uh, Ayers. Sent Reuter in motion. Ah! Reuter looks to throw. Looking for Colby downfield. And it is intercepted. It's picked off. And Cooper with the football comes back across the 35 up to the 40. Stays on his feet. Spun around at the 45-yard line. So we'll have a great UFP Parker replay on this one. Yeah, going to page 15 on the playbook. Unable to convert. There you go. And there it is. Nice. He looked like Willie Mays out there with that catch. Right over the shoulder, brought it right back. Good return. And right out around the 45-yard line. We're going to say he was actually down about the 42. This is a big series here for Union. They want to blow this one wide open. Dittman hands it off right up the gut, running with the football. And uh, that's Verostic with the carry. Verostic takes that football inside the 30. Of County, they're going to say the knee went down at the 30. So that will be a 28-yard pickup for him. And Bob goes, how in the world did you figure that out? Yeah, I'm actually concerned at I'm, this point. Yeah, yeah. I'm math challenged. <laughs> that's that's being polite to the phrase challenged. <laughs> you were one of the few comm majors at Clarion University that could do math. So I don't want you to talk. <laughs> math and uh, <coughs> accounting, macroeconomics. Dittman hands it off. Rasta gets the carry again. Takes it inside the 25, down near the 24-yard line. So that's about a six-yard pickup for him. Second down and four here for the Falcon Knights. They lead it 24-0. 
you know, everything, they're, they're in a flow, Mike. You know, they're mixing it up quite well. They've got a multiple, uh, multiple groups of players contributing. Cooper out to the left. Roxbury, the wide out to the right. They've got trips on this right side. Rostick in the backfield. Dittman, the quarterback. Dittman looks to throw. Fires to the right side. Coming back for its card, and it's off of Card's fingertips. Incomplete. Good coverage down there by Ayers to get that ball tipped away. Yeah, hung up in the air just a little wee bit, and sometimes, too, as a receiver, uh, defensive back's going to read your eyes, and that was exactly what happened on that one. How about that? 444 on the clock. Third and four situation at the 24. Yep. A lot That's of fours up play. there. That's a number to play them to, uh, tomorrow. Well, 24-yard line here for the Falcon Knights. Uh, third down here in four. Dittman hands it to Card. Card banging his way inside the 20. Gets down to about the 16-yard line. That'll be a first down. They're going to move the chains. He's in the Dubrook red zone. And we'll put him at the century mark. And, but again, Mike, you're right, more importantly, moves the chains. Trips this time out to the left side. Single receiver to the right is Roxbury. Dittman in the shotgun formation. And hands up. And Rostick over the left side. See where he comes down at here. It's inside the 10, right around about, what, about the 8-yard line. They've kept the legs churning. <clears throat> Picks up about eight. Second down here in two for the Falcon Knights. They look to add to that score. 354 to go here in the second quarter. It's a Hager paving second quarter. Yeah, Verostic checks in. 42 yards in this one. Of yep. course, those are unofficial stats. Tell everybody their horseshoe stats. Get you close. Mm -hmm. Not going to guarantee they're 100% on. <laughs> so the Falcon Knights to the line of scrimmage. Second down here in two. Dittman in the shotgun. Rostick is the sidecar left. He'll take the snap, rolls to the left side, fires toward the end zone. It's caught, touchdown. And on that far side, that was Cooper with the catch for the touchdown. That will cover about eight yards for the score. So Dittman to Cooper. I really like getting you know multiple guys involved. In the ball game, like Union has done so far. So they're going to line up for the extra point try. <clears throat> That'll be Murray. Colton Murray. All set. Kicks on the way. The extra point is up, and that kick by Murray is good. 3.26 to go here in the second. 31-0, Union AC Valley leads counter sport. We'll break your listening and watching Carly Tire High School football on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Set for kickoff and just squib down the field and coming back. Colfi <clears throat> up across the 30. Mike, let's take a look at that Zocker Motors scoreboard. Uh, big one here Monitas 7, Keystone 6. Wow. That at the 154 mark, quarter number 2. Horse Port Allegheny 6, Kane 0, St. Mary 6, Tyrone 0. Ridgeway cruising. They're up 28 to nothing over Phillipsburg, Osceola. And other scores of interest, Carn City 14, Dubois 7. And Red Bank Valley 14, Mike Kalinowski's Punksy Chuck 7. Well, they're fighting. 
Ayers will work in the shotgun here for the Falcons. Pass, and it's almost intercepted. Ball's incomplete. Pass was intended for Reuter. And good coverage by uh, Brody Dittman. I still no score on that uh, Central Clarion Clearfield game. It is Brookville 20, Brockway 7. Triple seed now. They go by Central Clarion County. You got that officially or yeah, nice. speculating? Or? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just got to confirm. Second and 10. Ball at the 33-yard line here for Countersport. They trail here against uh, Union AC Valley. 31-0. Run, 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 There's the handoff. Nothing doing that time. Hitting the backfield and dropped. Let's see who gets up there. <clears throat> But Kelly? I actually looked. Right. I'm going to say it is Kelly. First, I didn't think it was him, but. So a loss on the play. Third and long. <clears throat> Third down 13 here for the Falcons of Countersport. They trail 31 nothing, trying to keep this drive alive. Twins on each side. Ayers will drop back into the shotgun formation. 2.35 to go here in the first half. Ayers looking to throw. Fires downfield. It goes long. It's picked off. It's intercepted. That's Zach Cooper with the interception. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 35-yard line of uh, Countersport. And that is where the Falcon Knights will have it back. And you got to bet that they want to get on the scoreboard here again. Might get that game into a situation potentially to have a mercy rule game take place in the, in the second half. But great field position. Nice defensive play made. They'll have it at about the 34-yard line. So they're set up here to get this score. Would put the game, uh, if we when we get to the second half, into the mercy roll. Chrisman in the pistol setup. Hands it to Camper. Lost it. That ball's loose. And Cowdy definitely has it. Yep, Cowdy all over that one. So the Falcons of Countersport will take over back at about their 31-yard line. That's where they're going to have it. They're going to say officially around the 32. Hey, be smart here, Coach. Right? 217 to go here in the quarter. Yeah, nice play there defensively for County to come up with that one. And again, got to got to move the football here. So Ayers will work out of the shotgun formation. We get a timeout. Yep, County will take a timeout. 2.17 to go. We'll break two. Union AC Valley up 31-0, and you're watching Carly Tire High School Football at Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. cold it is outside, you can keep warm and toasty inside with a built-in-the-USA super-efficient furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Affordable, quiet, and reliable, you can count on your furnace from Luton's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. This is the EYT Media Network. All right, right back to Action Go. Countersport uses a timeout there. Quarterback. Right to the right side. Finds his receiver. Makes the connection. Reuter makes the catch and then forced out of bounds on the far side of the field. We'll see where they spot him for the yardage. Probably going to get, I think, six on this one. Yeah, pretty close. Well, closer to six, close to seven. Yeah, it's second down and three. Dustin and I agree on that one. <laughs> not, not, not often we do. Got to wonder if uh, that timeout probably was called. I'm guessing there was an issue with airs, Mike. Yep. 
Ball close to the 39-yard line here. Wright is the quarterback. Wright rolling to the left side. Dumps it downfield, and it is incomplete. Tried to find uh, that time. That was uh, Jackson Moss. Ball's incomplete. Third down here in three for Cowdersport. Clock stop or continues. Yeah, the, the clock in the first half should have been stopping. Yeah, the, the officials see that. <coughs> and they'll put the brakes on, but again, uh, you you know, if you're running the clock, you can't do anything until the guys on the sidelines let you know. They're going to put time back on. Uh, the official comes over. He's talking. So we'll see. You see him there on the uh, camera. They talk to the side judge there. Cooper's on to you there, Tom. Are they not? They, they we got the word. They do want 2.02 on the clock. Yep. <coughs> There we go. Fans helping out as well. That's one nice thing about down here. Everybody, we all work together. <laughs> Equal opportunity. Absolutely. Right? 201 uh, to go, 202, and the ball dumped downfield, and it is incomplete. Tried to sneak that over to Colvy on the far sideline. So fourth down, we'll see a punt coming up. Yeah, Chris, now keep in mind, Ayers does the punting. He came on. Ayers will come on. All right, here you go. Murray's back. Right? Murray is going to return the punt. This should be good. <laughs> Look at that. He that's got the crowd a, noticing, too. They're like, whoa. A, that's a crowd favorite. Christman to punt. Murray back deep. Good snap. There's the punt. Ball bounces at the 35. Bounces again. Murray picks it up. He's hit, and he's going to be dropped. No return on that one. He'll be right there at the 30-yard line, and that is where Union AC Valley has but it. But I love because, again, no chance for that ball to roll. It's not going to get by him. Now you got 146 on the clock, and the question is, are you aggressive or conservative? Obviously, things have went your way. You're up 31 to nothing. And, oh, by the way, you'll receive that kickoff yep. to start the second start half. Start the second half, yep. I remember my son down at Red Bank Valley. He was playing junior high football. He's a lineman. They kick off. The ball somehow rolls to him, and he's standing there holding it. I'm yelling, fall down. <laughs> and he he got pummeled. <laughs> what a life's learning experience. It certainly was. Grisman to the left side. It's caught. And Cooper across the 40, 45, busted, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Oh, there's no flags, and he's gone. Down for the score, 70 yards. And that was a pretty one. There you go again. You see that replay. Chrisman goes to Cooper. Dittman went to Cooper. Crispin goes to Cooper. That one for 70. I like to use the phrase, that's a share of the wealth philosophy. Although Crispin went over to Dittman and said, my pass went 70 yards. Yours only went eight. <laughs> <laughs> They're showing two-point conversion alignment again. And there's the Murray. He'll, he'll go for the extra point try. Murray's kick's on the way. Boy, that's up. That's high. That's long. And that kick is good by Murray. Minute 31 to go here in the first half. 38-0 as Union AC Valley leads counter sport. We'll break. You're watching Carly Tire High School Football. Explore clearing and D9sports.com. This is Corey. He made two big mistakes. His first mistake was not going to Laurel Eye Clinic to have bladeless LASIK. His second mistake was trying to pet what he thought was his cat without wearing his glasses. Don't be like Corey. Call Laurel Eye Clinic.
This is the EYT Media Network. Valley set to kick it off here. They lead it 38 nothing. Minute 31 to go here in the first half. Ball rolls down the field. Going to be picked up on the far side. Running that football is Moss. Moss stays on his feet and then rock back at a just before the 35 yard line. I know the temptation is to be really aggressive right now, but you can't take that big a chance no. because again. You're still back in your own territory, and you know that this defense is licking the chops because they probably figure that we'll see some pass attempts. So balls at the 30-yard line, a minute 23 to go here in the first half. Hager paving second quarter. And do want to give a shout-out to Don Hager. Had his hip done last week, and I know he's doing well. Had a chance to get in touch. A longtime sponsor and a very popular Hager paving player of the ball game. Yeah, the first in the area to do so. Yep. Looking to throw. Ayers fires. It's caught by Reuter across midfield and down to the 45-yard line of Union AC Valley. About 30 yards on that, and they're going to move the chains. About 25. 25. Ayers looks to throw. Ayers. Is going to run, stiff arms, airs, finally forced out of bounds. He'll get about five as he takes it down to the 40-yard line. So, Cottersport coming to life a little bit here. Yeah, nice, uh, nice couple of plays. They're, you know, the big chunk obviously gets you into position here. You got 105. Time will evaporate, however, at this level of play. Ayers looks to throw, hit, and dropped. How about Landon Chalmers? All over him. Knocks him back for a loss of about seven to the 47-yard line. Locked down to 45 seconds. Turning Chalmers, or excuse me, that is uh, Ayers working out of the shotgun. Finds his intended receiver. That is Ott, and he'll be dropped. He'll get about a yard just about a yard is all, and uh, sets up a timeout here for this Countersport using their last. I believe that is going to be their last one. They really didn't pick up much. We'll keep it right here, 26 seconds. Coming up in halftime, we'll have the Carrier Insurance Halftime Show. We have stats for you. We'll look at the scoreboard. We'll go through the scoring summary and look at the governor's keys of the second half. We'll also check out the bands at halftime. We'll have that for you as they're ready to go. You can also see people. There was no one on the grassy knoll tonight, but now they're starting to congregate over there. <clears throat> As Tyler gets a good shot of that. There they are. That's that crew. We saw them last week. Just kind of menacingly looking over the field for that and grassy knoll. And actually, knoll. you know what? One of those was one of our sponsors, Eric Schick. Yep. yep. The Eric Schick Agency. Of course, uh, class act all the way. Give me a little Reader's Digest, too, Mike. Those guys were all talking about you, making fun of you secretly over there. I'm sure. They're like, he's probably messing up again. <laughs> he had the opportunity to speak with Eric this week. He was, uh, made reference to the point you referred to that as the grassy knoll. Yep. But here, it is a fourth down opportunity. Fourth down, about 12. Ayers fires to the left side. Ball is up high, and it is, is it, it nope, it's going to fall incomplete. Cooper was down there, almost came up with the interception, threw well, it into uh, Actually, I think he there. probably could have had he yeah. wanted to and and basically just obviously let it go because of the better field position, although I don't think you'll see the Falcon no. Knights do anything aggressive here. They're already in command on this one. Yep, that was on fourth down, so the turnover on downs 20 seconds. Can hear the wind a little bit picking up outside. Yep. Those of you at home worrying about our cameraman, Tyler Oaks, he is secure. He is safe. He's good. We actually have weights at his ankles yep. so he doesn't blow away. As we talk, sitting in the press box all warm and toasty. <laughs> and, and, and he has bison pants on. He does. And those things are, what, about 100 years old? I think they're actually. <laughs> they, they are. It took three bison to manufacture them. <clears throat> and 
And Dittman's going to run a play here. Fires the ball to the right side, and that is tipped away. Good job by Ayers on the defense on Roxbury. Stops the clock with 14 seconds. A little surprised at the aggressiveness there of Union AC. Which is 14 ticks on this one. In quarter number two here. Yep. <clears throat> So second down and 10. Union at the 40, their own 47-yard line. Dittman tries to get the screen set up. It's tipped in. Is it picked off? I believe it is. So intercepted. Coming up with that big interception, that was Allen Williams, the big guy in there, showing some great athleticism. Here it is. Gets the tip and comes right back. Great interception. You work on drills like that in practice, and you think sometimes it's down alignment. I'm never going to have to do that. The opportunity is never going to be there. I'll never just arrive. Yep. For your offense now, not much time to work with. you got probably realistically no more than two opportunities here, but being quite honest, yeah. I think one. Eight seconds. Officially 8.2. So that might give you that extra play. Here we go. Ayers back in the shotgun. Twins on each side. Ayers dancing around, fires the football, and it's caught by Reuter inside the 20. Into the Dubrook red zone, and that's where Cotty will have it. they got to hurry. There's one-tenth of a second, and uh, they believe they're out of timeouts. they got to hurry up. They're going to get to that line of scrimmage. Once the official says go, that clock's going to be going, and there you go. They're going to – he tries to slam it, but that's the end of the half. Valiant effort by Cotty, but uh, – 38-0 is where we stand here at halftime. We'll take the time out. We're going to come back. It is a Carrier Insurance Halftime Show on the way. 38-0. You get AC Valley up on Counter Sport here at halftime. You're watching live Carly Tire High School Game of the Week on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy-duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zockerel Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer, and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zockerel Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZockerelMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zockerel Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64, Interstate 80 in Clarion. Julie, nice deck. Did you get that at Tio Nesta Builder Supply? It's Tio Nesta Builder Supply, and yes, Dave, I did. Wonder if they sell siding and roofing at Tio Nesta Builder Supply. It's Tio Nesta, and yes, Tio Nesta Builder Supply has that too. Come on, Dave, you've never been there? They have two showrooms for anything home improvement. Mom got a custom kitchen there. Bill down the street got the materials for his garage. They have this awesome website, www.tianestabuilders.us. You can buy online. They really have everything for the home. Wow, I'm heading over to Tio Nesta. <laughs> I know, I know. Tianesta Builders. Tianesta Builders Supply Home Improvement Center. Family owned and operated since 1958 with locations in Tianesta and Shippenville. That sounds good. I'll check them out online at tianestabuilders.us. 
Clarion Forest VNA believes the emotional and physical well-being of a patient is enhanced by the patient receiving care in the familiar surroundings of home. Their staff of caring professionals work closely with physicians to administer quality care to meet the needs of each individual. As a pioneer in home health care in Clarion and Forest County, Clarion Forest VNA continue to grow to meet the community's need for in-home care, offering many different services and programs to meet the patient's need. Clarion Forest VNA, located at 271 Perkins. Road in Clarion. Call us toll free at 1 800 262 2118. Luck in the playoffs to all our local football teams. From your one stop car, truck, and SUV dealer, Clarion Ford Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Visit us on Main Street in Clarion or start online at ClarionAuto.com. Best a proud member of the MB Group, is the right choice for your next concrete project. Specializing in decorative concrete products, precast concrete products, Gravel and stone delivery. Dubrook has what you need to complete your residential or commercial project. With locations in Clarion, Dubois, St. Mary's, Butler, and Evans City, Dubrook is ready to offer their professional help as your ready mix supplier. Call 1 844 Dubrook today. And in the background, we have the AC Valley Marching Band performing here at uh, Union High School tonight. You can hear those uh, folks out there. And we are in the Carrier Insurance Halftime Show here at Union High School, Paduna Stadium, as uh, we have a score of 38 to nothing in favor of Union AC Valley. And we'll take a look at the statistics, and those are sponsored by the Laurel Eye Clinic. Governor, what you got? Mike, oftentimes, stats don't tell the story. Well, they're going to tell it in this game because County limited to just 84 yards here in the uh, opening half of play. 14 on the ground, 70 through the air. And leading the way on the ground, eight yards out of Gavin Ayers, four yards out of Dylan Kelly, and two yards out of James Colvey. Ayers it through the air, Mike. He was 4 of 12 for 56 yards. Uh, John Wright checks in. He's one of two for 14 yards. And Reuter threw one interception on his only pass attempt. Again, uh, hauling interceptions. Reuter, by the way, 67 yards. And in three yards out of Ethan Ott. And, you know, last week, or, well, two weeks ago, I guess, when we did them uh, against Red Bank Valley, you made the statement yep. referring to him as Ed Ott. Yep. Well, of course, Ethan Ed is his middle name. Uh, of course, uh, thinking of former Bucko catcher, yep. Ed Ott. And that stuck with me. And I wish you would have done that because I, I'm <laughs> at any point going to make reference during the course of the ball game as Ed Ott. But, but anyways, 84 yards. In the first half, total offense for County for Union AC, unofficial numbers, but pretty impressive, Mike. 385 yards of offense. We talk constantly about balance. Well, guess what? You're seeing it. 198 on the ground, 187 through the air. On the ground, 100 yards out of Mikey Card, one rushing touchdown. Uh, and then from here on out, no particular order, it is Dawson Cooper checking in, one rushing touchdown, 23 yards, 27 yards out of Bailey Christman, 42 yards out of Andrew Verostic. And six yards out of Brody Dittman. Now through the air, this is where it kind of gets interesting stat-wise, but Bailey Chrisman, he's two of three for 141 yards, two touchdowns. Brody Dittman checks in. He is actually two of six for 46 yards. And hauling in receptions, Roxbury checks in 109. Ryan Cooper checks in with 78. By the way, each of those two guys having two touchdowns. Mike, uh, to account for the 187 yards of passing offense, 385 overall. Uh, pretty uh, pretty impressive. Uh, the only blemish really on the mark, the one interception. But outstanding effort by this offense. Again, you put up 385 yards and a half. You're generally going to be leading, and, oh, by the way, they are here 38 to nothing. At the uh, AC Valley Band there in the background, fantastic job by them, Scott DiTulio and crew. And across the field you see the – Union Band making their way on to the football field. Lisa Hummel in charge of the Golden Knight Marching Band. Uh, Rob uh, Heichel, her husband, of course, the percussion guy. And you can always tell because they always have these percussion things. Let's listen a little bit to Union. That will feed highlight senior Zach Walters. The band will close with close to the heart featuring Elena Ford on tuba. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Union High School Marching
Oaks Building Supply is dedicated to providing quality building products to the community. You will always find what you need for your home improvement project and get great advice on how to do the job at Oaks Building Supply. Customer satisfaction is a top priority. Oaks Building Supply, for all your building and lumber supply needs. Located on Route 66 in Lucinda. He's on the 30, he's on the 20, he's on the 10, it's a touchdown! There's nothing like football. <coughs> the lights, the cheers of the crowd, and getting a chance to see our local athletes and kids give it all they've got. <coughs> Come to a game. Support our local schools. Clarion County Community Bank. A better way to bank. Member FDIC. Visit us online at clarionbank.com. Trailers and equipment sales on Route 66 in Shippenville is your one-stop trailer shop for all things trailers. J&J stocks over 70 trailers at a time of all shapes and sizes, including enclosed cargoes, equipment haulers, utility trailers, tilt trailers, and dump trailers. Reputable brands include CarMate, Sport Haven, PJ, Liberty, and Wells Cargo. If you are looking for the most dependable trailers on the market, backed by the industry's best warranty, choose J&J Trailers and Equipment Sales. Trailers that work for a living. We're here, making it safer to save today. As we all adjust to the new normal, shopping for furniture is a little different. That's why our team wears masks and goes the extra mile while delivering in your home. It's why our website is so informative, enabling you to buy online or by phone. That's why we limit shoppers and offer special hours for our at-risk neighbors, first responders, and healthcare professionals. Your waiting is over. Let us help you save safely today. He made two big mistakes. His first mistake was not going to Laurel Eye Clinic to have bladeless LASIK. His second mistake was trying to pet what he thought was his cat without wearing his glasses. Don't be like Corey. Call Laurel Eye Clinic. And the uh, Union Band's still on the field down there as they continue with their performance here at halftime. We're in the Carrier Insurance Halftime Show. Here on the EYT Media Network, Mike Kalinowski, Governor Bob Dunkel, Dustin Kiefer, Tyler Oaks out on the camera. Time to take a look at our game replays and scoreboard. We go back to quarter number one at the 8.56 mark. It was card right here going on the nine-yard touchdown run. Nice handoff to him. All kinds of room up front. He goes into the end zone for the score. It was 6 nothing. Extra point, no good. 2.40 mark. In that first quarter, Roxbury took the pass from Christman. This one went 71 yards. Look at this. This was pretty. And he's off to the races. As Roxbury takes it 71 yards, the two-point conversion was no good, 12-0. Quarter number two, it was uh, the 818 mark. Here's Camper. Not Camper. He's going on a three-yard touchdown run. See him set up here. Right to Camper, and that opening parted like the Red Seas. It in there, the two-point conversion failed 18-0. Then at the 7.09 mark, uh, we don't have the replay on this one. Chrisman went to Roxbury, 38 yards for the touchdown. The two-point try was no good, 24 to nothing. And then at the 3.26 mark, it was Dittman going to Cooper for eight yards for the touchdown. See Dittman there out of the shotgun formation. Rolled off to the left, and right there he was, touchdown for uh, Union AC Valley, the extra point was good. It was 31-0, and then with a minute 31 to go, this one was a good one too. 70-yard touchdown pass, Chrisman to Cooper. Look at Cooper busting it. Murray's kick was good, 38-0, and that's where we go to halftime. Dustin Kuyper, fantastic job on those replays for us, and those are sponsored by Gatesman's Auto Body. Take one more time out. We're going to come back. We'll check the scoreboard. We'll get the keys to the second half. It's all coming up. 38-0. Union leads here in the Carrier Insurance Halftime Show. And you are watching Carly Tire High School football right here on Explore Clarion and D9 Sports.
Enjoy fabulous fine dining in a casual, elegant atmosphere at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Taking the breathtaking view through the windowed walls or dine on the patio overlooking the always changing Allegheny River. Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer in Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Our community needs its local businesses. Let's put unity back into the community. Let's all unite to support local business. Butler Health System, proudly standing with our local businesses. Your choice matters. When the time comes, choose local. Let's all unite to support them and the other local businesses in your community. It's important because when local businesses thrive, communities thrive. Located in Parker, Emlington, and Clarion, UFP Parker LLC is currently hiring for several skill levels, including general labor, assembler, and forklift operators. For more information, visit ufpi.com forward slash careers. can afford a gorgeous custom designed hardwood kales kitchen for a lot less than you'd pay at a DIY store. Go to factorydirectkitchens.net. At kales, there are never middleman markups or hidden charges that can add 40%. Go to factorydirectkitchens.net. That's factorydirectkitchens.net. Hi, my name is Jason and welcome to Sweet Basil. Come on in. here at uh, Venuna Stadium. 38 nothing. we're at halftime here on the Carrier Insurance Halftime Show. And we roll on here and uh, the Governor's Keys to the second half coming up here by, brought to you by Kale's Kitchens and Bob. 38 nothing. Union AC Valley in control. They'll get the ball to start here in the second half. Well, they will, Mike. I think it's important you want to come out, have probably one to two good series, and then I think you want to get every player who is dressed, get them into the ball game if they're healthy. Um, certainly don't want to risk playing uh, playing your starters just too long. I think uh, while you don't have a ton of depth to go to, get everybody involved. Obviously, you're going to be cruising in this one. It'll be a very fast-paced second half of play with the rolling clock. Now, as we take a look uh, for countersport here, as far as the keys to the second half, which uh, it's always a challenge, and generally as a rule, what I talk about is I say in a situation like this, look, you want to build upon, uh, you want to have some couple of drives, and you want to build upon some things for next week. And I think really the, the focus is actually, yes, you still want to have those drives, but you want to build uh, some confidence in this group of athletes, uh, certainly as you trail here 38 to nothing. And that's what you got to come out. You've had some opportunities. Uh, you know, a couple of things didn't go quite your way. Uh, certainly, again, work on, on a couple of issues. Um, and you want to finish this one strong because you can't go out in a ball game like this. You can't play it about a half throttle. If you do, bad things happen to you. So you still got to go out. you you got to be hard-nosed. And I think you will see them 
do that. Now, obviously, again, uh, for Union, I think it's important, Mike, just a couple of drives here, confidence level, you know, keep it up. You've got a bigger prize to chase down the road, if you will. All right, those keys to the second half, sponsored by Kale's Kitchens, and we'll take a look at the Zocro Motor scoreboard here momentarily. Just about ready to go here, 38 nothing. Union AC Valley leads. Some interesting games uh, taking place, Mike. It is Clearfield 20, Central Clarion 7. That is at the half. Brookville is up 28 to 7 over Brockway. Red Bank Valley up 21 to 7 over your Punxsy Chucks. I think that score is wrong. Again, that's at halftime. Current City 14, Dubois 7. It is Cameron County 8, Bucktail 0. Montauk 7, Keystone 6. Uh, it's, hmm. I think, a, a surprise to a number of listeners out there. But again, Montauk 7, Keystone 6 at the half. And it is Port Allegheny 6, Kane 0. Again, at halftime, it's Tyrone 7, St. Mary's 6. Ridgeway up 41 to nothing over Phillipsburg. Osceola, Kerwinsville 24, West Branch 14. And again, uh, that at the half. And County set to kick off here. Roxbury and uh, Cooper will be the deep men here for Union AC Valley. We go to quarter number three, and the sponsor for this one is Zockrell Motors. Do you want to thank Carrier Insurance, as always, for their sponsorship of the halftime show. Also want to thank Clarion Hospital for uh, sponsoring the broadcast booth all season. Keeping us nice and warm and toasty. Tyler's not shivering, so... <laughs> The good news is, as the season unfolds, continues playoff-wise, he'll get to the, uh, many opportunities to shiver. How's that sound? Well, we're buying him a brand-new cover, so he's going to have an enclosure. Nah, I talked to Jake about that. That's out. Oh. That's out. I'm trying to take care of the guy. And so here we go. Howard with the kickoff. And picked up. And Card brings it across the 45 to midfield. It was kicked to the left side short. Card was there, you know, and when he, he delivered that across uh, the 50-yard line. One of the big keys to a successful return is if you're back there, you catch it. There can't be hesitation. You've just got to take off, and you either got to hope that a lane opens up or make your own lane. And that time, Card, no hesitation whatsoever. Outstanding position here for Union AC Valley on this opening drive. Of course, once this clock gets going, there will only be a couple of reasons why it will stop. Cooper out to the left. Got Roxbury to the right side. And the slot on that left side, that's uh, Cooper over there as well as that Cooper. Hand off to Camper. Camper weaving his way. Bust to the outside. He's being drugged down from behind, but he keeps it going, and he's got a first down. Inside the 40 down around the 30, about the 37, 38-yard line. <clears throat> Amp, the big man, moves those chains. He's got 35 rushing yards. Of course, has one touchdown as well on this one. Ball to 38, first and 10 here for the Falcon Knights. Of course, the playoffs are coming up next week. Twins on each side. Chrisman out of the shotgun, hands that off. That's Card. Here's Card banging his way, 25, staying up on his feet, dropped down near the 22-yard line. That's a gain of almost 16 on the play, and they're going to move the chains again. Another Allegheny Grill first down here for the Falcon Knights. Yeah, Mikey Card now 116 in the ball game. He's a man on a mission, no question about it. <clears throat> and then so far, mission accomplished. Vault 23, first and 10 here for the Falcon Knights. Chris at quarterback. Keeps it over the left side. And he'll be hit and drop. He'll get into that Dubrook red zone as he's dropped at about the 19-yard line. Give him a close to about three is what it looks like. Ball just inside the 20. Again, mixing it up, getting multiple players involved here in this drive. You know, that's, that's really critical, too. You know, a game like this, sometimes you may have people lose focus a little bit. You keep multiple guys in. You keep everybody focused. Chrisman out of the shotgun. Swing pass left side caught. And that's uh, Cooper over there. And dropped inside the 10-yard line. It'll be a first and goal as they move the chains. That looks like it's down around the, what about the 7? So that'll give a gain of 12 on that one. Yep. 
So Union AC Valley threatening here. They're up 38 nothing. We'll have a move. The move clock will be moving the entire time as Bob was talking. Chrisman. We'll work in the shotgun. Hands it off. That's Camper. And Camper into the end zone for the touchdown. That'll go six yards for the score for Camper. A nice drive. Again, you have multiple players involved in the success of the drive. They punch it in. That'll make it 44 to nothing. Comes at the 9.08 mark here of the quarter. All likelihood they will attempt that extra point again. Yep. Murray's on. So Murray's on the extra point. Cooper is the holder. Hold is down, kicks on the way, and the kick is no good this time. So it makes it 44-0. Union AC Valley with the lead here in the third. 9.08 to go here in the third quarter. We'll break. You are listening to Carly Tire High School Football on Explore Clarion and D9Sports.com. The area Beverage is Air, a leading manufacturer of refrigeration equipment for over 75 years, is currently hiring for immediate openings in our Brookville facility. For more information or to apply, visit BeverageAir.com forward slash careers. With so much to protect each day, Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. All right, right to uh, the kickoff here. Murray on to kick things off. 908, ball kicked short, picked up, and he was uh, already had the knee on the ground that time. That was Kelly. Took that, one of the up men. Mike, we got a big update here in that Zucker Motor scoreboard. It is Keystone 12, Monotas 7 now. Wow. Quarter number three. Back and forth. That's a good one. We'll keep you updated. You can always go to D9Sports.com. How about the Chucks? Well, the Chucks, Mike, uh, they are still losing to Red Bank Valley. 21-7. Uh, to 7. Officials get the ball set. And then we'll get this clock rolling once everybody Ball. is set. Yeah, ball's right around the 33-yard line here for Cowdy. Ruder went in motion. Ayers rolls to the right side, pumps, fires, and uh, it's incomplete. Tried to get it back to Ruder there on the far side of the football field. Yeah, nice effort. Ball just sailed on him a little wee bit. Again, Mike, you know, I mentioned it. This is one of those series. This is one of those halves, if you will. You're, you're still playing for pride. You want to build uh, build on the success of a drive. You can't look at the scoreboard because there's you know not much you can do here, 44 to nothing. But, again, you still got to come out finish the second half with pride and take care of business, get some points on the board. Ayers looks to throw, flushed out of the pocket, under pressure, grabbed by the shirt, spun around a drop. And how about that? That again, uh, Landon Chalmers. Got his hand up in the air. Does uh, Chalmers, great job tonight. Yeah, he has been money in the bank throughout this entire season. He's a guy that's going to play whistle to whistle. And he's, he's got a nose for that football. Loss on the play back near the 27-yard line. Lost about six. Third down, 16. Ruder goes in motion. Ayers rolls to that side, dumps it off. It's caught. That's Ruder on the far side. He'll be dropped at about the 35-yard line. That's a gain of about uh, eight on the play, and we'll set up a fourth down now, and still about eight to go. Ball just shy of that 35-yard line. Clock to 7-12. It's going to continue to move here in this second half. It is a big lead here for Union AC Valley. 44-0. <clears throat> Ayers to punt. Cooper's the deep man. 
Got to get the football off first and foremost. Snap is on the money. Bunt's on the way. Cooper comes up, takes it, lost the football, picks it back up. He's back to the 35-yard line. Evades a couple tackles, but then he meets a whole host of tacklers, and they just rip him to the ground. Out at about the 37-yard line, and that is where Union AC Valley has it, 635. Yeah, good recovery on that after the initial muff. Got to get the grip back on that one. The officials get the ball placed. <clears throat> well, well you know, obviously roll. next week we'll be in playoff action. The mystery is where yeah. and who. And we have a whole host of people to choose from. It's going to be uh, difficult to do. And, then, again, there will be a, a number of things as far as deciding factors of where we're going to go. So stay tuned. It, and a lot of it, too. You know, we talk about uh, the technology and stuff. It always comes in as a factor. Dittman hands it off. And uh, he gets up there getting the carry that time. Was that Cooper? So Cooper will get about a yard. Now, one of the things that, uh, of course, uh, we don't like to say this bad phrase a lot, but money is also going to be a factor because obviously uh, there are broadcast rights, which we have to cover the cost of, and it <coughs> is a, an increased amount, uh, obviously, for the video footage. Sure, especially in the day of streaming and, and some other factors that we'll have to uh, possibly contend with. And then, uh, you know, the biggest uh, underlying factor is coming up with money to pay your huge salary. Well, and if there's not, I'll go on strike. Dustin and I, <laughs> unfortunately, don't really have much of a salary, so that's no factor at all, our, our situation. Here's Dittman keeping the football. Boy, he's hit hard, too. He'll be dropped at the 40. He'll pick up about three yards out to the 40-yard line, but uh, stopped. Oh, they're going to say shy that at the 39, so it's just a couple yards for him. So third down here and still about seven to go. So he just picks up the two. Yeah, going back to that last play as uh, Hadges of Cowdy making a real solid tackle against Dibbon. Third down and seven inside their own 40. Dittman out of the shotgun, third down and seven. The ball at the 39-yard line. Ball snapped back to Dittman. Dittman steps up, fires, and it is incomplete. Tried to get that into Cooper across the middle of the field. Uh, would have been right around the first down marker. Actually, Cooper did a nice job. He saw where he needed to go, but the pass just didn't make it there. And a punt will be coming up here for Union AC Valley. About 4.05 to go here in this one in the third quarter. And really what Union's trying to do is, uh, you know, for – those of you up north who may not be familiar with this squad, of course, the guy who's been the primary signal caller throughout the season, Bailey Christman, uh, they're giving Brody Dittman a lot of time back there should he be needed as the playoffs unfold. <clears throat> James Colby will go back deep. Christman awaits the punt. Here's the punt on the way. Angles it to the right side. Colvey lets it bounce, and it's going to come to rest at about the 19-yard line, and that is where Cowdersport will take over. 326 to go here in the third. You know, whenever you teach, we talk about the, the fundamentals of special teams. It's one of the things, if you notice, the ball is kicked at an angle, so you got a little more roll. You got them inside the 20. Kind of yeah. reminded me when you play golf. <laughs> Not near the green, but it rolls a lot. No, because the ball actually was higher than knee high, you know, <laughs> coming down the line. So, um, anybody who has ever watched me attempt golf, and notice I say attempt, um, would realize that uh, I'm a great disappointment to the to, to anybody who, who teaches golf. Ayers in the shotgun <clears throat> takes the snap, looks to throw, brings it out here. It's caught by Ott, and takes it out to about the 21 yard line. It's a pickup of just a couple. Not much. Second down here at eight. Ethan Ed Ott for County. I, and I say that with the greatest respect. Yep, used to enjoy. Back when the Buckos were catcher. just good. <laughs> they were good. Converted outfielder. I tell my students that they look at me like the Pirates were good. Yeah. Can you believe how long it's been since they were World Series? Yeah, they champs? were talking about Atlanta. They're like, it's been like 30 years. I'm like, keep going. <laughs> 
up. 42 big ones. Two and a half to go here in the third. Ayers a work out of the shotgun. Twins on each side for the county quarterback. Looking to throw. Dances around. Fires that ball. And it is caught on the slant. And out near the 45-yard line. Coming up with the catch for county. That was uh, Dylan Howard. That'll be a first down for the Falcons as they move the chains. Allegheny Grill first down. And they're going to place that <coughs> right there at the 45-yard line. Yeah, nice route that time by Howard. Ayers looks to throw. Slings it, and it is. Is it? It's it's not picked up. It's uh, incomplete. Cooper came up, tried to well, kind of fool trying, the official, but was it was say, underneath him. He was trying to sell it. <laughs> it didn't work, but I like here's, the effort. Here's that UFP uh, Parker replay on that one. Well, I'll tell you what. Academy that, Award for the effort. Yeah, that sidearm. Ayers said he really zinged it down there. <clears throat> 44 nothing Union AC Valley here in this one. Now, this drive so far for Cali, this is one of those drives that I think they really needed in the first half again to change the field position drive. Obviously, ultimate goal was to get points. But bottom line, they have changed the field position. Ayers, swing pass, left side caught by Reuter. Reuter to the midfield, and then he's forced out of bounds. Shy of the first down mark, it'll be third down. He's going to pick up eight, maybe nine. They'll put him out at about the 47-yard line. So it'll be a gain of about eight. They'll give Ayers 98 yards in the ball game. And now, of course, you know the good positive part about this is, again, now you're actually into Union AC territory. So if you come up short here in third down, certainly can go for it. Boy, I'd tuck it and run if I was Ayers. Ayers under pressure, now rolls to the left side. Now it's caught by Reuter, first down, and he'll be dropped at about the 31-yard line. Deanna 16 on the play, they move the chains. And Reuter is injured. So Reuter, and that will stop the clock at 31 seconds, as they'll attend to Reuter here on the near sideline. 44-0 here is our score, and it is a... Uh, Zockrell Motors third quarter when I get that in there because Billy will be getting a hold of us if not. And no question about that as I do a little dance work here and try and get us back. Yeah, we'll be checking the scoreboard as well and final week of the regular season. Anymore, I've got to do about 18 different steps. Dustin, he's and always on top of stuff. That is our producer, Dustin Kiefer, keeping everybody in line here. It's Clearfield 20, Central Clarion 7, Brookville up 28-7 to over Brockway. Red Bank Valley leads Bunksy 21-7. to Carn City 14, Dubois 7, Cameron County 20, Bucktail 0. But here's the big score that many of our listeners are interested in it is Keystone 18, Montauk 7. Again, Keystone up 18-7 to over Montauk. There's Port Allegheny 6, Kane 0, St. Mary's 14, Tyrone 7. Ridgeway is up 41 to nothing over Phillipsburg Osceola. Get a nice round of applause there as uh, Reuter makes his way across the field. And Kerwinsville up 24 to 14 over West Branch. All right, at there we go. Time. So get back to action here. The official, once he gets across, will wind that clock. It'll be a first down here for Countersport at the 30 yard line. 30 yard line of Union AC Valley. Yeah, very nice drive. Obviously, Reuter a huge factor in his drive, and Gavin Ayers. Dylan Howard with a key catch as well. Moving the chains. There goes the clock. Ayers takes the snap, dances around. Steps up. Fires the ball across the middle of the field. It's caught inside the 15-yard line. And the play is then blown dead. Coming up with the catch, that was a Danny uh, Vindeladricken. I believe that's how you say it. <laughs> Van Vladricken. There we go. Van Vladricken. We got it. Get it close. Never let on, partner. No, it's right there. I'm reading it now. I got it. Well, yeah. That's the end of the quarter. Your Thank age. goodness. <laughs> 44 0 Union AC Valley leads. County driving, though. We'll go to quarter number four, and you're watching us live 
Carly Tire High School Football at ExploreClaringAnd9Sports.com. Enjoy fabulous fine dining in a casual, elegant atmosphere at the Allegheny Grill in Foxburg. Take in the breathtaking view through the windowed walls or dine on the patio overlooking the always changing Allegheny River. You're locked on to the EYT Media Network. And we're here in the fourth quarter to see uh, Kale's Kitchens, or excuse me, Clarion County Community Bank fourth quarter. There we go. I had to look down. Dustin's upset. He said, Dad's going to call. <laughs> Clarion County Community Bank fourth we go as uh, Ayers with a first and goal looking to throw. Dumps it off. It's caught down around the five and shy of the goal line. Yeah, it's going to get him down to uh, Dylan Kelly. Yep. But there is a flag, Mike. Yeah, this is going to come back. Took a long time to develop. And usually you'll see that happen. 44 nothing, Union AC Valley here. Speaking of a long time to develop, as my cell phone finally comes back to life to look at that soccer motor scoreboard. Any big update? Uh, Red Bank Valley up now 28-7 oh. over Punxsy. And Kern City up 21-7 to over Dubois. As I mentioned earlier, <clears throat> Keystone now up 18-7. to over Monta, all those games, quarter number three, by the way. Well, here we go as the Ayers out of the shotgun back at the 25-yard line. Again to the left side, looking down toward the end zone, and the pass is picked off. It's intercepted. Down that right sideline and forced out of bounds. That is um, Cooper with it, Zach Cooper with the interception. So Union AC Valley will take it right back. Cooper. That was one of the deepest drives we saw out of Countersport tonight, but unable to come up with points. Yeah, Cooper made the read, secured the football, was on that far side of the field, a nice little return, got some real estate for his offense to work with. It looks like Dittman will be under center. Yep. So Dittman. Dittman ready to go. Rostick in the backfield with him. He's going to pitch that ball, though. And that's Card with it. Card over the right side. Card still on his feet. First down, 30, 35 yard line. And Card first, uh, forced out of bounds on the far side. Like flag comes in. Boy, that official had a gun on him, too. Yeah, those were well after the play. And I, I don't think they're talking about the up-and-coming turkey season, but I, I'm just going to go out on a limb on that statement. Going to have a long, healthy conversation here. Obviously, you want to get the call right. Personal foul goes against Union AC Valley. And they'd offset one on each side, so one to County, one to Union AC Valley. And so they'll back it up, and uh, it's was it if it was after? No, nope, we're gonna say so. It's a the classic do-over. So it negates basically a 14, 15 yard run. <clears throat> so the ball back at the 20 yard line, first and ten again. 10:49 to go here in the quarter. And there we go. The clock rolling again after they get this uh, penalty taken care of. Campers in the backfield with Dittman. Dittman takes the snap, hands it to Camper over the right side. How about Camper rolling? First down as he's out across the 30 and then pushed backwards. He'll have the first down out around the 32-yard line. That's a 12-yard pickup. It moves the sticks. Well, 
Well, they're going to say he was right there at the 30. I thought he got a little bit further than that, but the officials spot him there. First and 10. Allegheny Girl first down here for Union AC Valley. Dipman in the shotgun. Goes right back to Camper that time. He's hitting the backfield, bust to the outside. Leans forward, and he's close to another first down out at the 40-yard line. We'll see where they spot it. If he gets the 40, they're going to move the chains again. I think they're going to say that he's just shy. Uh, he's got it. Those are the football. Catches it. Yeah, you were close there, Governor. And that's why I'm up here and not wearing stripes. <laughs> Well, at the 40-yard line and first and 10 here for Union again. Clock under 10 minutes, about nine and a half to go. Dittman. How he shows blitz. He's going to pitch that ball out to Camper. Here's Camper over the left side. Camper. And again. I think he's going to get close to 10 again. They're going to say, I think he might have been down. Nope, they're going to give him the 50-yard line. That's another first down. That's 10 yards. They're going to move it. Well, I love the hustle, the extra effort. You know, it's easy. If, Great shot. If you're, sometimes it's, it's easy to just lay off. And say, yeah, why take the shot? He it. does play and whistle to whistle. You know, looking at him, you don't know whether, obviously, Union's up in this one, but you don't know whether they're up or they're trailing. These guys are giving you the same effort throughout the entire game. Dittman hands that off. That's Vrostic getting the carry, and Vrostic goes forward for five yards to the 45 yard line. Five-yard pickup, second down and five here for the Falcon Knights. 44-0, they lead it if you're listening to us on the audio broadcast. 8-19 to go, turning clock here under the mercy roll. Yeah, this is just a nice, fundamentally sound drive. You work multiple players, multiple plays. Keep everybody involved. Dippin hands it off. Campbell. Breaking tackles, leans forward, and he's going to get it. That's Camper with the first down. That's five yards. And Camper, yep, pops right up. Camper, that'll give him 70. Man, they're going to say he's shy. So third down. Oh, he has to have a first no. down. He has to have a first down. Well. It is mathematically impossible. They do move the chains. Yeah, there they go. They do move the chains finally. Boy, it took the officials a while there. They were well debating. involved measuring and all that good well, stuff. Well, if I was down there measuring, it'd be in trouble. <laughs> First and ten, that five-yard pickup. Deadman rolls to the left side. The quarterback keeps the football, gets five, gets ten, drags one forward, but a flag on the play. This one's going to come back. Yeah, they just didn't like the way that block looked to the outside. And the officials going to march him back. The illegal hands. 7.13 as the clock continues, well, was continuing to move to that penalty. Yeah, and that's one of those plays, too, you know, you wonder how much of an effect did it have on its success, but nonetheless, the officials will make the call, because they have to. Certainly, they see the infraction. They're not going to let it go. That's why you're not officiating, because you'd be out there, hey, i got places to go. Let's yeah, go. I'd let the clock run. That wouldn't be a question. Well, pushed back behind uh, midfield, so it is a first and about 23. And Dittman keeps the football. Dittman goes outside 35, 30. That's a first down. He'll gain. They needed 23, and he's going to end up with about uh, 28. Wow. As he takes it down to the 25-yard line. Big run for him. Against that run pass option look, which is the designed run, at least I think it is anyways, based on the formation and the set. He makes it look easy. Sure does. Clock now at that 635 mark. Great to have you with us tonight. Dibbin in the shotgun, hands it off Rostick. He's hit immediately and dropped. Rostick, uh, no gain there. It looks like he might lose a little bit, but not a whole lot. There at that, uh, well, backs him up. Not much. So keep it right there at the 26. 
Down to about six minutes to go here in this one. Of our post-game show, we'll name our Hager Paving player of the game. Twins out to the right. Keeping it is Dittman. Dittman over the left side. 20. Flag on the play down to about the 10-yard line. And we'll see what this is, the flag. And it looks like... I would say, based on the reaction, yeah, back. it is going to come back. So you nice run by Dittman, nullified by the penalty. Well, Mike, as we look at that soccer motor scoreboard, more bad news for your Chucks. Red Bank Valley starting to really pull away here, 34 to seven. That is late in quarter number four. <clears throat> Do have our first final. It is Port Allegheny six, Kane zero. St. Mary's up 14-7 over Tyrone. That's after three quarters. Early on, quarter number four, Ridgeway 41, Phillipsburg, Osceola 6. Kermansville up 24-14 to 14 over West Branch. That at halftime. Ball handed to Camper over the right side. Here's Camper to the 25. Still on his feet. Dragon tacklers down near the 15-yard line. And that'll be enough for a first down. He takes it all the way in the Dubrook red zone. Goes from the 27 all the way down to about the 14-yard line. Yeah, Dawson Camper now 87 yards in the ball game. Actually, it was not to 27 because they had a penalty. It backed him up to the 30. So it's a gain of about 16 on the play. Ball's at the 14-yard line. Pistol set up. Takes the snap, pitches it back. That's Camper, big hole left side, banging around, keeps it up on his feet, but he doesn't quite get in. Takes that down near about the two-yard line is where the ball's sitting. So that's a gain of 12. First and goal here for the Falcon Knights. 4.15 to go here in this one. Clock continues to move. Union AC Valley threatening again. They're up 44-0. Why not reward the big man who's had a strong drive here, Camper? Give him another opportunity. Ball snap back to Dittman, hands it to Camper. Camper looks for room over the left side, and he's brought down shy of the shy of the goal line. So it gets down near the one. It's a one-yard pickup. Boy, Tyler's got a good clear shot of that. I'm just going to watch the TV. <laughs> I don't put him at 100 unofficially in the ball game. Then he zooms out. He goes, nope. Perhaps his bison pants are fitting a little too tight that he's causing him to shift. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'll tell you what, they're popular. People ask about them. He's even been asked about bu someone buying them. Dittman in the shotgun. Takes the snap. Hands it back to Camper. Camper in the end zone. Touchdown. One yard run. Comes with 3.14 to go here in this one. And a class move there to reward him for the hard work on that drive. Of course, I'm sure if you talk to him, he'll thank the offensive line for opening up such big holes. Makes it 50 to nothing. Murray's on for the extra point try. He got to return a punt tonight. Showing his real versatility. Kicks on the way. Kick is up by Murray, and it is good. So 51 nothing. Union AC Valley leads. And we'll take a timeout, 314 to go on this one. You're watching Carly Tire High School Football and Explore Clarion at D9Sports.com. Whether it's your ATV, your camper, plenty of room, keep it coming. Your boat. Keep dumping water, me boy. Or whatever your big kid toy may be, make sure you protect it. Carrier Insurance Agency will help establish a policy to protect your ATV, camper, boat, motorcycle, or any auto insurance coverage you may need. Receive your free quote at Carrier Insurance Agency in front of Tractor Supply and Clarion or CarrierInsuranceCares.com. With so much to protect each day, 
Eric Schick Insurance and Financial Services is here to help you find the right coverage that fits your life. Call 814-275-2210 to learn more. And here we go with the kickoff. Bouncing down the field, picked up. And bringing it back. Boy, running into a wall at the 30-yard line that time. Take a look down there. Colvy, I believe. Yeah, it was uh, Colvy with the return. So 3.02 remaining here in this one. Clarion County Community Bank fourth quarter. You're going to see, you know, what a uh, few available players that have not been into the game, I'm sure we'll get into this game on both sides this final drive. Coaching staff out, respective coaching staffs, talking to their personnel. But uh, you know, for some of those guys, it's been a long season, a challenging season. It is 51 to nothing here. Yep, 302 remains. So let's see. You have to work tomorrow? No. We're, what are you doing? I am heading to the pit game. I was wondering. I have uh, Clarion University tomorrow, final home game of the season. We'll have that tomorrow. You're going to be uh, enjoying, and i got to work. Well, I have my work cut out for me, however, whenever I get home. Why? Mrs. Dunkel is away. She is down in Florida, so that means it's bachelor time for Bob. Oh, boy. But don't worry. I have prime rib that I will be cooking <laughs> well, she on already, Sunday. She already so. left rolls, too. No f greasy foods, no this. What she doesn't know won't hurt. <laughs> How's that sound? Ayers is under center, backs in the eye. We'll draw a play, hands it off right up the gut. Not a bunch there. A couple yards. Yeah. Trying to see who got up off the bottom of that pile with the carry. Looks like they got the big guys in the backfield. That's what it is. That's why I'm confused. <laughs> Second down. Going to hand that off. And running the football that time was uh, Kyle uh, uh, Blanier. One of the linemen. Gets back to the, the line of scrimmage, and that's about all third down here. And still about eight. Yeah, they got that power. You talk about a power package in the backfield. They got all the beef. Remember that old Wendy's commercial, where's the beef? It's in the backfield. I do. Ball handed off over the right side. A little bit of a head of steam and a couple yards there for one of the big guys in the backfield. We'll get him here as soon as he turns around. That was Blanier. Okay, so Blanier getting the carry again. Fourth down. I, I love <clears> this, and, of course, we saw Red Bank do this a couple of weeks ago. You reward these guys, the unsung heroes, the down linemen. Speaking of Don Lyman, as Murray will be back deep, should they like to punt? I don't yeah, think. Yeah, they're not punting. I don't think we'll see the punt. Nope, give it to the big guys. Fourth down and about to seven. Dumps it across the middle, and then it's uh, intercepted. It was tipped and intercepted. So Union AC Valley gets it right back. And this will be at uh, about a minute 22. We should see the victory formation in this Will be about it. 51 nothing. Take a quick break after this one. Bob will total things up. And we'll get to that uh, First United National Bank postgame show. We'll also take a, another look at that Zocker Motor scoreboard. A couple of quick updates on that, Mike. It is Clearfield 38, Central Clarion 7. Brookville up 35 to 7 over Brockway. Deadman. Under center. He'll take the knee. That'll get the clock rolling. He'll just have to do that one more time. So Union AC Valley will come up with a big win here to wrap up the regular season for them. Playoffs. On the way next week, 
Union will move to a uh, Union AC Valley will move to seven and two. <coughs> Dipman again. And that's it. It be over 51 nothing. We'll take a quick break. And you're watching Carly Tire High School football. And it's all right here on Explore Clarion and D9sports.com. Locally owned and operated, Hager Paving of Strattonville provides a range of services. Hot mix asphalt, cold patch asphalt, tar and chipping, and seal coating. Hager Paving's reputation in business is based on customer service, referrals, and your satisfaction. Serving residential, commercial, industrial, and local municipalities throughout western Pennsylvania. Exceptional service, exceptional quality. That's Hager Paving of Strattonville. Call 814-764-5080. That's 814-764-5080 for Hager Paving. Red Bank Chevrolet, the area's number one Chevrolet dealer and Clarion County's truck headquarters. So if you're in the market for a new or used Chevrolet car, truck, or SUV, go to Red Bank Chevrolet, 500 Broad Street in New Bethlehem, or online redbankchevrolet.com. Skilled staff at Red Bank Chevrolet is ready to meet all of your automotive needs. If we don't see you today, we'll see you at Red Bank Chevrolet. Zocro Motor Truck Sales in Clarion is an international Diamond Ed certified service department. As one of only 276 such shops in all of North America, you can be sure that when your medium or heavy duty truck needs service, the job will be done correctly at Zocro Motors. Our work is guaranteed nationwide at any international truck dealer and our parts and service prices can't be beaten. Our technicians are factory trained and factory certified. Don't trust a shop that just thinks that they can make repairs. Come to Zocro Motors Diamond Edge Certified Service Department. If it's maintenance you need, click ZocroMotors.com or call us for a quote on those jobs too. Our prices are great. Best of all, you know the repair is done right and it's guaranteed. Get your truck service work done at Zocro Motor Truck Sales, two miles north of exit 64 Interstate 80 in Clarion. IT Media Network. Right back here at uh, Union High School, Venuna Stadium. Final score 51 0. Union AC Valley knocking off Countersport. We're in the uh, first United National Bank postgame show. And uh, when you look at the scoring in that second half, well, Union AC Valley, we're gonna, this is brought to you again by Gatesman's Auto Body. It was Camper at the 908 mark in quarter number three going on that six yard run. And you can see as Chrisman gets set up here, goes right to Camper, and Camper right over the right side and into the end zone for the touchdown. The kick by uh, Murray was no good, 44 nothing. And then in the fourth quarter at the 3:14 mark, how about Camper again? This was a one-yard touchdown run. He had been the workhorse uh, helping him get down to that point. And he goes right in for the score. Murray's extra point was good, 51 nothing again. Uh, Gatesman's Auto Body is our sponsor for those scoring summaries. So I'll tell you, uh, Union AC Valley getting a good warm-up here as uh, they get ready for the playoffs. They move to 7-2 and two on the season. Uh, Keystone was winning their game. They'll go to 7-2. and two. Red Bank Valley was winning. They'll go to 9-1. and one. Uh, Not sure on that Smithport in Kerwinsville, but I believe they were both winning too. But we'll look at that. Smithport was not playing. Okay, so they will stay at 7-2 and two to finish the season. And all those updates will be on ExploreClaring and D9Sports.com. Mike Kilroy will have all the stories from tonight. I'll tell you what, does a fantastic job. Check him out as he'll have that uh, coming up tomorrow. Now it's time for the stats brought to you by the Laurel Eye Clinic. Governor, how do they stack up? Well, stats do tell the story here, partner, as it's 155 yards of total offense for County this one, 145 through the air, just 10 on the ground. On the ground in no particular order, by the way. Gavin errs one yard as he was sacked a couple of uh, times to really hinder his yardage total. Dylan Kelly checks in four yards. James Colby with two yards. And uh, one of the big linemen, as we want to give credit where credit is due, is Hagis checks in with one yard and two yards out of Caden Lanier. Now, 
through the air. Ayers was 10 of 22, did have three interceptions to go with that. John Wright, one of two for 14 yards. And Logan Reuter, by the way, 0 for 1, one interception. Going back to Ayers, Mike, finished with 131. Logan Reuter, uh, strong night on the receiving of 99 yards, 24 yards out of Dylan Howard, five yards out of Ethan Ott, and 17 yards out of Van Fladriken. That's Danny checking in with those 17 yards. Again, 155 yards. Now for Union AC Valley, this is uh, no surprise when I tell you this yardage to Lear Mike. Big night for them, 529 yards. 330 on the ground, 199 through the air. It was multiple guys taking care of business in this one as Mikey Carr leads the way with 116 rushing yards, 101 out of Dawson Camper. And by the way, Camper, two rushing touchdowns. Mikey Card one rushing touchdown, 47 yards out of Andrew Verostic, 35 yards out of Brody Dittman, one yard out of Zach Cooper, Bailey Christman adding 30 as well. Bailey Christman through the air. He was 3 of 4 for 153 yards. And Dittman checks in, Mike. He was uh, 2 of 6 with one interception, 46 yards, two touchdowns as well. Hauling in touchdowns tonight on the receiving end. Skyler Roxbury, 109 yards, two touchdowns. It is 90 yards out of Ryan Cooper with two touchdowns as well. Again, Mike, uh, outstanding offensive performance out of Union AC Valley. Um, I think as a coach, you try and script it out. It's not going to come out better than that. There you go again. The uh, stats are brought to you by uh, the Laurel Lye Clinic. First United National uh, Bank postgame show rolls on here. Time for the Hager Paving Player of the Game. We did thumb wrestling. Dustin ended up being the victor tonight. And uh, the uh, Hager Paving Player of the Game is going to be you know what? Um, a guy who really deserves it. We don't have stats to back up what he did, but we can tell you this. He was a big impact player in this one. Landon Chalmers, the, the lineman uh, who really controlled both sides of the football, certainly, but defensively, outstanding effort out of him. Um, we called his name multiple times. Landon Chalmers is your Hager paving player of the game. Got to love it when you give it to those guys up front, and he certainly did a fantastic job tonight. Well, folks, playoffs are on the way, and uh, you want to stay locked on to D9Sports.com along with Explore Clarion. Uh, we'll let you know where we're going to be at next week. We'll have the whole crew there as the playoffs get uh, underway fast and furious. We've got a lot of teams that are going to be involved, so we'll let you know what's going on. But you got to stay locked on. Mike Kilroy will let you know what's up, and a good win tonight for Union AC Valley. Yeah, it certainly was, so congratulations on everybody as they – finish a strong successful regular season now we head into the playoffs do got to thank our cameraman tyler oaks uh d doing an outstanding job out there did not let the weather hinder his performance and also want to thank our producer and director guy wearing multiple hats tonight dustin kiefer by the way i know everybody's excited about the replays he is one of the primary reasons why, because he yep. takes care of business. So if you yep. see Dustin, let him know you do appreciate that. Obviously, my broadcast partner, Mike Kalinowski, this is Governor Bob Dunkel saying, hey, let's be careful out there. Have a great day.